the way your face looks so clear and like the lighting as well. Yeah, lately I've been like, I'll go and like listen to my Macau play. Oh, I have to. You should know this too. I Jesus <laughs> Christ. That was five different thoughts all at once. I saw that yes. happening. Um. Also, I have to be so cringe for a second. I know that I do this all the time, but also I have to be so real and honest about my feelings. I was driving here and even though I was listening to my play, I was trying to get the character. I almost started crying because I got excited about coming to D&D because I love you guys and I cherish your friendship. <laughs> I got really happy. I was like, hey, Jamie, I don't think you understand how much that actually means. I literally. Hello, dear friend. Welcome back. The Rift Seekers have returned to Sky Xanis to enjoy the Last Departure Festival. Hmm? You've forgotten what The Last Departure is. Well, to quickly catch you up, The Last Departure is a special holiday on the Biosphere. All mortals know it as the day the Architect, or Vasilius, as very few know him as, left the Biosphere through the Rift after being dormant for a hundred years. Vasilius is the cosmic being that created the Biosphere and the Blooming Gods. The Architect has been gone for exactly one century, and many hope this will be the day that he returns. <clears throat> Anyways, our protagonists are now spending some time enjoying the festival and all that it has to offer within the magnificent town of Sky Xanis. So, mm. Rift Seekers, mm. Hi. it is the <laughs> last departure festival on the 23rd of Praxis. It is a nice, the longest cool... longest day of the year! No! The longest day of the year! <laughs> the longest day of the year! You guys are still in Sky Xanis, so it is a nice, cool day. The sun is shining through the floating lake. Um, again, the ground it has this, like, rippling, shimmering effect from the floating water above. Um, every once in a while, you'll feel a nice, cool spray of, like, rain falling down. Um, again, there are really no clouds in this area, but the shadows are from the creatures in the lake that kind of come over, um, flow past the different rays of sunlight. Um, the massive serpent that is the mother serpent, or... I forgot her actual name that I gave her. Mirage, you should you should know this too. <laughs> what would you like to know? Uh, what would you like to know, stranger? <laughs> <laughs> right side. Okay, I'm just <laughs> If you don't have it, that's fine. I have it right here. It should be. I just so forgot. Huh? They did a funny. <laughs> Fuck you, war, no one. I'm, I'm perfect. perfect. <laughs> I believe her name was... Where is it? Cassandra. Cause, yeah, because I got... Sorry. Just... There it is. First. That is it. I thought that... Oh, yeah. yeah. Her, her true name Nimbus. is Anguius Nimbus. Um, everyone, Nimbus. though, calls her Mother Serpent. Yeah. yeah. Mama. Mama. <laughs> Mami. Anguini Bami. That's the one. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> All right. So, Mirage, Ornan, and Macau, you yeah. guys had just completed the tournament and you won receiving the Cape of Billowing as yeah. your prize. You stand triumphant in the middle of this makeshift arena in the center of Sky Xanis. So, you guys at this point would exit the arena. People would be clapping you on the back, cheering for you, telling you good job. Um, you get a few scowls from the, the team you just beat. I just... Um, <laughs> we definitely did not help in fanning that fire. Yeah. Goodbye, the, goodbye! The, the big Leona just kind of like crosses his arms and just... And then turns around and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Roar! Just <laughs> as you guys yeah, he just <laughs> roar and then leaves. <laughs> big lion roar though, like it's a big like roar and then he turns back. <laughs> There's a child just <laughs> <laughs> It's giving dither art. <laughs> the dwarf do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> child oh, runs no. off crying. Where was your mother? <laughs> 
drops like a candied apple. You... <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Goofs. <laughs> All right. I love a good goof. So, the day is still yours in terms of activities uh, to do. During the day, you have the costume contest, uh, the big catch, the uh, puzzle called Connection. Um, there's a few temples that have been reserved for specific groups of people who worship uh, the quote-unquote architect. Um, and then the main event of today, uh, once you guys are done with your activities, is the high driver race, where everyone uh, watches uh, people compete in this race with high drivers that fly all around the, the town. And it's like the big main, it's almost kind of like jousting if you've ever gone to like a Renaissance Fair mm -hmm. House or the main event. This is that event. Cool. Nice. Um, but yeah, in Sky Xanis, um, since you guys are all older and have lived in this world for quite some time, um, the last departure, again, depending on where you are, there are different types of celebrations. Mm -hmm. um, Macau in ditch. It could have. It, it, it basically is just a lot of debauchery. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Um, That's what I'm talking let's about. Let's see. Ornan in Igis. It would be kind of a day of. Um, the only thing I can compare it to is like a Sunday for Christians, where they don't really do anything. They kind of just. Gather yes. around with a like big old feast, like a day to relax. Exactly, Period. and they just kind of wait to see if something happens. We're all just like, mm. where's that big red mm. bitch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so for all... the big red bitch. They, um, okay, like days something. leading up to it, um, the best hunters would go out and try to get the biggest catch to come back um, to feed their tribe. Uh, gatherers would go out and collect everything they would need from different. Um, any kind of, I guess, really not a lot of fruits or vegetables would grow in this place. So it's there's just, only one. Yeah. There's only one. And so, we know. We know who has them. I guess for like your tribe, it would be just hunters and then other people who would tend to the camps. Um, so again, the days leading up, they would probably make the, a very large tent for all of you to have the feast in yeah. and all kind of like huddle together and just yeah. Yeah, celebrate yeah. being together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Mirage in Glattenboro. Uh, I think you already described what you do. It's very small, personal celebrations. Mm -hmm. It's not big because of the fear of barmen kind of barging in and kind of ruining everything. Yeah. So it, it's very much held in very like like um, family traditions or worship. Um, but yeah, just smaller personal celebrations, uh, different families doing different things. Yeah. Um, and then Dara, for you yes. in Lunemere, um, th this almost seems very familiar to you because in efflorescence um the elves and the people there this is a grand glorious day where people are not on, um, only like worshiping like tagong who is like the the god that resides over efflorescence but tagong himself you would have like heard of this um, also is watching the rift as he, Tagong, is dubbed Lord of the Gods, being the first created from the blooming gods. To, to him, this is another, um, almost kind of like a birthday, where he also celebrates and tells his creations to celebrate, have a good time, we are alive, you are my creations, Celebrate. Let's see if Grandpa pops in. What? <laughs> We're ready to see if Mr. Man comes because it's the last departure. And mm -hmm. So it's like, let's see if Grandpa yeah. shows up. Yeah, kind of. Out of context, let's mm -hmm. see if Grandpa shows up. Yeah. <laughs> so um, the celebration in Sky Xanis feels very familiar to you. Okay. It feels a little bit like home. Got it. Mm -hmm. um, but specifically in Lunemere, and because of how everything works in that town, it's big, big feast. Um, 
lots of decorations are put up. People are happy, a lot of celebrating, a lot of drinking. Um, just, yeah. So again, Sky Xanis feels very familiar. Okay. So with Thank that, you. what do you guys want to do? Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Someone uh, had mentioned puzzle. Yeah. yeah, a few people had taken interest in the puzzle. I'll meet up with you guys there. Maybe I just got hit one too many times in the head, but I'm gonna find someone who can maybe dye clothes. Okay. Sure. <laughs> you know, I guess if I'm gonna be rocking the new do, I think I need to switch things up. New me. Hit in the head too many times. Interesting day for it, but nothing wrong with it. Yeah. What? What? I turned to Ambrose. Weren't you like making me a fit? Weren't you doing that? Okay, remind Keith, was he? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he was, I, know, like, was I don't remember if he was done acquiring the materials, but because there had been a couple times where he asked like, oh, is there like a shop where I can go and get fabrics? So I know the one for candy. Mm-hmm. I have completely blanked on making one for Macau. Yep. Um, I know it was a project that he wanted to work on. I just don't remember if anything had been started on that. Oh, I, <laughs> oh, that's I do not remember. But then again, I have 50 other things. I'm yeah, like, no, you're so fine. Don't worry about it. I'll find it. You can get back to me on that. Mirage, you're going to go find some of the dye clothes. Mm-hmm. What are the rest of you doing? Or doing individual things or going as a group to do something? I know someone said puzzles. Yeah, I think we were discussing going to puzzles. And then to do puzzle. Mirage cool. just said we that she would meet us there. So mm-hmm. okay. probably should go there. Yep. Because otherwise we're going to make Mirage lost. To the puzzle, to the puzzle. Yes. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> we will start with Mirage. So just making sure I'm clear on this. You guys are going to puzzles. Yes, yes. Puzzle. Mirage will meet you there. Okay, understood. Yes. All right, Mirage. So <clears throat> as you are walking around the festival people are like running by you children are laughing playing having a good time you see a couple like run around with like the little uh what is it like the not windmills the um the little pinwheel the pinwheel yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. running around with that um you smell freshly baked pie kind of just like waft in your direction um and then you get to a, a place where there's a lot of like different stalls. This looks to be more like not people really like selling things, but more like workshops, if you will, where people are showing off, here's how we make different jewelry, or you see like a blacksmith working, like making a sword in front of people. It's kind That's of pe- sh- people showing off their craft. And there are like a few things that are selling. Um, you would see a tailor, and then next to that, you would see a lizard folk in like bright, like yellow skin, and, and it kind of like their scales fade to like an orange. It almost kind of looks like a sunset. Um, big bright yellow eyes they're wearing like a like a ornate kind of like purple robe with like splotches of like white on it Mm -hmm. and you see them um, like bunching up this like tunic wrapping it and then like dunking it in this barrel pulling it out setting it aside and then uh, you see them like hanging up and they just made like a tie-dye tunic Mm -hmm. (laughs) <laughs> um, so this is the person that would have dyes if you are interested. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, is there a crowd in the area? Do I get a- yeah, there's like a small crowd, but it's mostly people like coming and being like looking, being like, ooh, ah, and then like moving on. Some people kind of stay just to like observe, um, but they're kind of just letting this lizard folk do her thing. Okay. And I guess I'll just make my way up to the front. Happy holidays. Oh, hello, stranger. Welcome. Are you interested in colors? I am, yeah. Oh, wonderful. With a new hair color comes new fashion ideas, you know. New hair color? How interesting. What What does she mean? Um, well, this used to be white, and now it's black, and everything's really dark. Oh. It's a little... I mean, I come from the swamp, but it does look a little swampy. Oh. I come from jungle, so things are brightly colored. 
It's where I get my dyes and my inspiration. So, I can see you probably have a very good eye for bold contrast, then. Yes, yes. Very vibrant colors, I like. Yes, I was wondering if you could make like, this dark navy blue for the body, uh, white, and and, mm. and then I describe like the drawing that I have in the Discord. Okay. Where I just flop colors around. Yeah, so yeah. you're basically going to like from dark colors to lighter colors. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Um, and she kind of looks at you and goes, Yes, yes, I can do that. Thank you. Uh, how much? How much will that be? Hmm. Well, for the dyes, and she like takes out different like uh, vials of dye. Hmm. I can do three silver, a piece for the dyes for the whole uniform. Twelve. Twelve silver. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Twelve silver. It is wonderful, and. Your hair, it's dark and pretty, like raven feathers. You want change? I do, yeah. Keep the fur, uh, keep the fur dark, though. Yes. So, hair, I can change for you? Make it pretty colors? Um, (laughs) well, for my hair? (laughs) No, that's fine. You keep it dark? I think I'll make the most of it. All right. Change mind, come back. <laughs> I think. And she holds up like a whole bunch of different colors and like places it up to like oh. your head or your hair. And oh God, what colors? <laughs> purple, yellow, green. <laughs> and every time she pulls out a new color, she's like, <laughs> yeah. Ooh. This goes with your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a whole bunch of just like bright, yeah. just super stark contrast to you as a person. <laughs> Rainbow hair. Yeah. <laughs> hair dye soup. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. How long would this be? Hmm. Give wonder a few hours. No. Come back, and then you'll have to wait a day for it to to dry and take form, take color. But I will have it done soon. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, do you happen to have a changing room? I do have casual clothes I could swap into. Change room? Uh, she just kind of like turns around. There's like a small tent. She just you can change there. You sure about that? It's just Wonder's tent. Okay, um, I guess I'll just take a peek inside. It is a very basic tent um, with just what seems to be like uh, adventuring supplies, mm-hmm. um, like a very large haversack, a crate. Um, it's kind of like propped open. You see um, like straw and like different vials in there of different color as well. Okay. This is where she keeps all of her supplies. Okay. If you can guard the entrance, that'd be great. I'll be quick. Of course. Wonder stays here. And she... Thank you. (laughs) That's exactly how it works. It's like Sims. (laughs) I'm (laughs) another. Jumps, spins, change. (sighs) Only lower body. Just... (laughs) Here you go, and it's like the Lego like head just. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's exactly how it works Let's now. That real quick. Brilliant. Just can I'm just swap that out. Don't mind me. Don't mind. Don't mind. Don't mind. Sorry. And don't here, those clothes for you. And I didn't catch your name. Wonder. Wonder. Mm-hmm. And these are wonderful colors. Uh, no. Write that down, write that down, write that down. Write that down. <laughs> and I go by Eve. Eve? What a beautiful name. Thank you for stopping by Wonderful Aww. Colors. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in a few. What? <sighs> very good, very good. Uh, they're all waiting for me. Oh, it's a puzzle in Cool. All right. 
Hey, you don't actually hate me. You love me, right? If you're mad at me during Pride Month, that you're automatically homophobic. Fine. <laughs> Real. So Thank be you. it. So be it. <laughs> That's your cross to carry. He said, I'm out. He said, actually, I'm leaving. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I hate how I look over and I like I see that like <laughs> processing in your mind and you're like loads <laughs> <laughs> the insta buffer just <laughs> <laughs> You guys, um, as you're walking around, there would be a um, table that's set up with a sign uh, that just says connections. And it is a puzzle. You see a few people who are kind of like standing around or sitting um, and there are what looks to be 16 like squares on a grid. And they're like trying to move these squares all around and all of them are like scratching their head. They're not understanding and you would see a scholarly looking half elf uh, with like pure white hair or white scruffy hair, rectangular glasses um, and fair skin. Uh, he stands before a table uh, with the squares and the grids and he's kind of like looking at everyone and like would like have like a cocky smile on his face. He looks at it like <laughs> he like walks around like looking at everyone. Idiots. Like he's judging people. Um, so again, you would see 16 words organized on a square grid. Um, as you guys approach, he looks up to you uh, again with that cocky grin. Come to solve my puzzle. You can certainly try to at least. 16 words lie before you. Four words are connected to a specific category. If you can put each word into the correct category, you win. Simple, right? Come, come. Challenge your brain a little. Oh no. I'm down to challenge my brain. I don't... Uh, I don't use it a lot, so... This will be a good exercise, I think. And uh, bring it on. I don't think I'll be ready. <laughs> Come on, make him try. We got this. In character, I'm super happy. Out of character, I'm like, I am so fucked. Yeah. Mirage is like, yay, words! And you're like, oh, fuck me. <laughs> you said sliding tiles. I was like, oh, okay, I can do those. I'm experiencing Not with words. A, I'm experiencing a disconnect of my character. All right. <sighs> so. Ornan isn't good with words. I'm not. Good. Best role play happens when there's a disconnect. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. So. I walked in. 16 words. They are. Oh, shit. Someone's gonna have to at least write these down so Hold you have up. them. Hold up. And again, you're supposed to put four words in a category, and there are four different groups. Yes. Okay. okay. Words. First one is leather. 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 Okay. Crystal. Crystal. What the fuck? No. <laughs> okay. A trozel. A trozel. Orb. Orb. <laughs> Sitting here pondering my orb. Evocation. Okay. Chain. Okay. Tagalm. Fuck, hold on. Tagalm. That's not spelled right. Next. Wand. <laughs> okay. Syphix. What? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. Necromancy. Okay. Scale. As in. S C A L E. Okay. Dragon scale. Yes. Enchantment. Okay. Plate. Hey. Like plate mail. Like plate mail. Okay. Illusion. Did I already say that? No. Nope. Okay. Valenfjord. Huh. <laughs> uh, v A L E N. F J O R D. No. Let's go. And then staff. Those should be the sixteen words. Okay. Cate I can I can already see category things. There are four categories, and okay. you're supposed to put them in each of the categories. Okay. And are how, we and given we're supposed the... to put four in 
Yeah. So again, it's a square grid, so you're putting four, 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 four. Okay. So you're are just we, supposed to we, arrange them. And, uh, oh, like we just make the category? Like we have to- Put them in the I correct category. I know this category. fucking game. Yeah. You motherfucker, I hate you. <laughs> I hate your ass. Well, does it have like the categories? Mm -mm. Or does, okay. You're supposed to put the words in and then he will tell you if they're in the correct categories. Okay. I'm already making kind of- Yeah, I'm already. I'm saying. Atrozel's a, a god. You can roll an intelligence yep. check for a hint if you a want to. A is... That's the one I'm missing, evocation. Yeah, hold on, let me... Valenfjord's another god, right? Let, hold on, I'll, I'll pull up the the gods You quick. can roll a religion check. Hold on, I know this shit, because I know that name. I have three categories. Ornan can roll with advantage if he wants to, because Ornan would know this. Valenfjord is... What? 21. Okay, Ornan, if you want to roll two. No. 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 What? Uh, what am I rolling? Valenfjord's the, uh, I know, I found it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Can I say you it? Roll advantage. Am I allowed to say it? This relates to <laughs> region and backstory. 18 plus whatever. Yeah. In 21. Okay. So, Valenfjord is the sovereign of ice. He is the progenitor god. Yep. Ornan, with your role, you know that he is the reason why Igis is Igis. Yeah. Oh. My, little, my little ice titan uh, buddy. Atrozel's the god of madness. Yes, I know. I have four gore. And I'm like, <laughs> 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 Motherfucker. Green gods, purple pertaining to magic, uh, yellow types of like uh, for armor. <laughs> Dara. Um, Done. <laughs> Do you want them? Well, you guys are working as a group, so. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Unless you don't want to. We're supposed you... to do this as a team, you <laughs> fuck team! So you I mean, don't have to. If you don't want, if you want it to I'll do it individually, you're more than welcome to, to part ways from the group and do it yourself. I'm cheating off your homework. <laughs> so, I didn't school of magic, school of magic, school of magic, school of magic. Yeah, so, once. More. Once everyone has them, you can tell me the words and so then what you believe the so category the is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. This wasn't supposed to be incredibly hard. It was just supposed to be more fun. School of magic, school of magic. What was the other one? Uh, illusion. And you at home can play along with us. You can play. <laughs> Did you get all I those think, words? Right in the I comments think we right got now. It, but we <laughs> the different categories. The only Who's thing I don't know, like, who is <laughs> your favorite out of the 36 gods? <laughs> you should know all of them because I had like a two hour video explaining all of them. I mean, uh, these <laughs> are, uh, what's uh, the focuses? fucking word I'm looking for here? We got, we got it, but it. we color coded it. Wonderful. Uh, okay. I, I have it. So, um, <laughs> what are the categories you guys got? Just go in any um, order if you want to. We got types of armor, gods, schools of magic, arcane focuses. Yeah! 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 Same. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good job, guys. <laughs> We're also fucking smart. <laughs> we are smarter than fifth grader. No. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> the instant devastation that coursed through my veins. Just, we're smarter than the fifth grader. Yeah, yeah, I said no. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly. You guys complete the puzzle. <laughs> um, the half elf, Jesus. Koi. The half elf comes over to you guys, looks at your puzzle and goes, well, congratulations. Quite smart. Well, your prize. What do we get? He slides over a potion. Do we all get one? It's just one for the group. What potion is it? It is the potion of mind reading. Yo. Ooh, nice. Who wants it? I feel like you should have it, or Mirage should have it, because you're the magic bitches. Said with love. 
I had a Saturn in those trees, but yeah, it's all mine too. Yeah, all yours. I don't don't want to pry into people's minds. I'll never forget your guys' triumphs. <laughs> you guys have been hard carrying. I'll all never day. forget this. I hate how I started my sweep. notes at the end of the page. The Rift now, Seeker like, Sweep. <laughs> that sounds like a fucking wombo combo. Yeah. You do. The Rift Seeker Sweep. Hit him with the Rift Seeker Sweep. Damn. <laughs> That's uh, this universe's version of the wombo combo. For with, this reason? Yeah. I'm waiting once you guys are high level to actually come up with some Banger combos. I'm so excited. We need oh, to discuss. Well, it's not <laughs> yes. as easy to come up with as good of a limbo combo. Because that paladin was a homebrew bullshit. Yeah, and it's then, the only reason it worked. And then the grave cleric shit. Yeah, grave like, cleric is always to strong. Literally any type of damage we throw at you right now. <laughs> all of them. You are just vulnerable. Yeah. I don't anyone, have any massive does debuffs. Does anyone want a all. repeat of 128 damage? <laughs> We yes. Got, we got so high. It was so cool. Correct me if I'm wrong. You guys ended at level 14, right? No. God, no. no. Nox was like 10. We were was like, it? We were 10 11. or 12. No, we got... I, no, I thought yeah. it was higher than 10. We, we, we got right a, we got, I remember us getting to 11 or 12. I think I, it was 11, was actually. It? Which Hold one? on, I can... I, I'm checking. For which group? For, For some rate. reason, oh. in my mind, I'm like, yeah, they ended at level 14. No. No, no, we didn't get that. You did say 12. It was, yeah, 12. 12. 12. Okay. Am I behind? <laughs> you guys completed the connections puzzle. Woo! Good job. Whoa. Oh, hey, Starfinder. You connected four. You connected four. Connect with that. Okay. <sighs> oh. Well, shit, now I'm bored. <laughs> there are literally what, so many other the, things to do. <laughs> what do we do now? Fish. Fish. Why? I don't. I thought that would be completely up your alley. You ride a dragon into the flying lake and fish. That sounds thrilling. Horrifying. Yeah. Mildly horrifying, but I am severely intrigued. How high up is the lake? Many. Yeah. Yeah. How high up is the lake? You need a would dragon this, to get there. Would this qualify yeah. as a Loch Ness monster? <laughs> Damn, I don't have Eleven. Fun. It's yeah. pretty it high so up because the lake from a distance looks like a cloud. So it's pretty high. Yeah, no. Falling You back. guys had fun! Fuck that! Falling would be bad. Misty step before it's not out. like right above the town. It is that is not a reaction there. spell. It's very high up. You're right, it's not. Well, um, you'll fall for more than six seconds. I mean, I, yeah, I think I'd be kind of in the falling zone. I wouldn't be reacting. I'd just be like, all right. I guess I'll three. Yeah, but you two, have 30 feet to, to react. relieve your mind. Oh. They, <laughs> yeah, these right. people know that this would be dangerous if you fall off yeah. a juvenile high driver. They have countermeasures in place if you fall. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't okay. have feather fall equipped at the moment, but I'm not worried. Yeah. They yeah. wouldn't have this as a popular event if, if there had been accidents. Died. Yeah, no. There's, yeah, contingencies in plan. <laughs> There's just like I catapults of nets. <laughs> Do you want to know what I really <laughs> Pull! <laughs> we got him! Where can I get the socks of Featherfall? Uh, you well, gotta go back to Lothmanger, bitch. Um, <laughs> well, wait. Socks of Feather Vault was a thing? It, could it be. is now. Yeah. Oh, name object of Featherfall. Hey, Keith, Dude, I want you to know it? that I pulled up uh, Vesper's thing, and it's. I have all of like the characters written out. Gesh, gone. Vista, survived. Levi, survived. Kagura, dead. Kazumi, survived. Eris, question mark. God damn, that's like on a like on a screen, you know. I, I'm I'm thinking of um, Jurassic World oh. with the Indominus Rex, and I was like, me 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 me, and just people yep. just dying. Nox, <laughs> I was thinking of Incredibles. Nox died. Oh question yeah, mark. that too. <laughs> Nox died. Question mark. Beep. Three <laughs> died. Beep. Twice. Beep. Finis. <laughs> Finis. Question mark. Archie. Question mark. What do? What do fish? Yeah. All right. Because I've forgotten the other half. <laughs> 
Uh, it doesn't tell me how many. If you tell me again, you know what's gonna happen. Gonna pick one. I'm gonna ask you again. <laughs> I'm going fishing. I'll come back to you later. <laughs> I got an hour. There's really only one other activity that you guys could compete in. And I that's just the costume contest. I want to go fishing. Fuck no. There's other things uh, you can do, but Ambrose these are the only in the costume events. I was just going to say he would win. <laughs> if you guys are not going to do the, cont- uh, the costume contest, Ambrose is just going to dip and go over there. <laughs> yeah, he can go by himself. I, 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 no, I, I, I want, want to go. Support <sighs> him. I, I will go to support him, but I, I want to watch the fishing. I just will not participate. Because okay. that is too I do, I do want to go to the costume contest, so I okay. don't want him to I will go with out. you guys. Okay, do we, so fish first. Fish. fish! And then costume contest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Yay. It's Ambrose's yeah. time to think. I got an hour to kill. Very good. How much animal handling do I have? Well, some. Yeah, the cow does not like heights. Okay. So, you guys. I have. <laughs> this could be fun. You approach the port on the outside of town. A large group of people are gathered around, along with many fishermen and their high drivers. You see a group of high drivers, high driver riders returning, each with a harpoon and a fish skewered at the end of it. As they all land, an elderly man is proclaimed the winner of that round with a massive round fish um, held above the crowd. A halfling stand, a halfling standing on a raised wooden platform, announces the next round. All right, folks, the next round of the big catch is about to begin. Rules are simple: fly to the underwisp and catch the biggest wispin tuna that you can find. Yes. But be careful: the mimic marlin just hatched too. They can look just like the tuna, and you won't realize you've caught one until you're already back. Look out for any strange features to avoid catching any mimic marlins. Oh, and don't go thinking you can ride your own mounts. No, you'll be flying on the juvenile high drivers and they are still in training. So have fun riding them. All right, who's ready to fly? I immediately raise my hand. Woo, let's do it. All right, one, two, three. And he starts counting a few other people who are ready. Um, once he gets up to eight, um, you guys all like approach the end of the docks where uh, you see a few um, like high driver um, mount trainers come over and you can see a lot of them are very energetic, very finicky. They're all like moving around. Some of them are trying to like nip at each other. Um, and then uh, they would come over and basically hand you a harness to the specialized saddle that are all on them. And um, yeah, all three of you are now uh, holding on to a leash of a juvenile high driver. I told you I would try to ride something Loch Ness monster-ish. I told you, motherfucker. <laughs> My ride. manifestation worked. And now we ride. After all eight of the participants have their high drivers, the halfling just looks up. All right, board your mounts and get ready for takeoff. (coughs) So all of you hop on your high drivers and as you do, um, all of them are, it feels awkward for some of you who have either A, never ridden a mount or never ridden something as slender as this. It feels just so strange. Like their body is fluid. It's not rigid like a horse's back. This thing is a snake that you're riding on. So no the only th- with like any like animals or vehicles or anything would come in handy. Do you have any? I have mm. to see with technically land vehicles. That's wagons. Yeah. But well, we did say land yeah. vehicles would pertain to horses and stuff like that. Yeah, and that's where I'm kind of like. I I think land vehicles are like horses. Because I'm, I know that we discussed it, but there was vehicles, no like technical yeah. term that we could find. I don't know if like I almost am positive land vehicles encompasses like <laughs> wagons, horses, and all that, but I'm not sure. But that's what we have for him, just because it makes sense um, in Igis to ride different mounts and stuff like that. It's we just call it land vehicles. So it's anything pulled by a horse, not riding a horse. 
Okay. But but the, we we know what the we home mean. our homebrew version encompasses animal <laughs> mounts. So, okay. That's why I was like, I was like, um. Go, roll just a d20 for me. Because I'm not too sure on this one. We'll let the dice decide. Two. No, you're not proficient. <laughs> not for a, this one. It was almost a 20. Fuck you. So, as you guys board your mounts, um, all of them kind of like move and shift as you um, board them. But... It, again, it's very strange. It's a little, it's a little weird. Um, but you are on your mounts. So um, for this, the rules are: you guys must make three animal handling checks. Um, the check increases by a difficulty of one for each check thereafter. Jesus. Um, if you okay, so if you fail a check, uh, the high driver goes out of control and the player falls off. They can make a DC 13 deck saving throw. <laughs> on a success, they remain on the mount. This is a lot of instructions, but it's mainly just for me. Um, if they fail to remain on, they fall but are saved by a feather fall spell. Um, once the players have reached the underwis, you must make a perce- perception check. Um, on a success, you find a tuna. On a fail, um, other things happen. After you find a fish, you must make a range attack with the harpoon. All of you also get a harpoon as well um, on your once you get on your mounts. Um, after you catch a fish, you may return to the dock. Um, you guys are all competing against each other. There is only one winner for this. So technically, all three of you are competing against each other. That's fun. As you guys are all on, the halfling raises his hands. Riders, ready? <laughs> ready. Yeah. On your mark, get set, go fish. Uh, uh, <laughs> all the high drivers kind of make like a screeching roar sound as all of them take <laughs> off. Yeah, <laughs> the home guard. <laughs> Yes. Thank I'm God that's over. Once on myself. Yeah. Okay. Motherfucker. I'm so glad that's over. <laughs> that was... Yeah. Okay. What? Don't so worry about it. I will okay. win out of fear. Uh, uh, Andrew and I are having a moment, and we love that. Okay. So. <laughs> Who's ready to laugh roll? <laughs> Just five minutes of laughter etching. Yeah. So we're over here like. <laughs> <laughs> and then every once in a while he's looking at me and I go. Shh. <laughs> and we're like, this is a real good drink. It was real good. All right. So as you guys take off, all of you need to make an animal handling check. The DC is twelve. Okay. Twelve. <laughs> Succeed. Twelve. Fourteen. Succeed. Not one. Oh, Damn. No. So no. you guys. <laughs> All in, I said there was, there's eight of them, so there's five. We'll roll a d6 minus one. Are you fucking okay, it? so six of you make pretty good progress going to the underwis. Two people, though, already as they're flying up, their <laughs> high drivers are just not responding to anything. They're not going up, they're just losing control. So, uh, Mirage. This high driver is trying to knock you off of it and just go off on its own. You need to make a dexterity saving throw. The rest of you can make another animal handling check. This time the DC is 13. Jesus. Okay, 14. Yeah, one bad roll and that's it. You succeed. I don't think you immediately fucking fell. 19! That's an unnatural 20. Very good. You continue. It's a 12. Okay, 12 cents. <laughs> you need to make a dexterity saving throw. Are you using your bless die? Huh? Are you, Are you adding, adding your d4? Oh, okay. So. Fuck me. No. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, that's, that's a fail, I can tell you already. Okay. <laughs> that's a seven total. Damn. All right, so. Let him go again, let him go again. So. Um, Mirage, you can make another animal handling check, um, since you succeeded the saving throw. Uh, your DC is 13. 
Uh, Ornan, you continue flying up, uh, but you see a few other people are having just a real hard time controlling their high drivers, but yours is doing surprisingly well. You need to make one more animal we're having check. A, we're having a very spiritual connection because we're, we're both uh, rambunctious souls that don't really <laughs> listen to one another, so mm. that's why we're getting along. And Dara, as this thing, as you are flying up, this thing all of a sudden just starts like taking super sharp turns and just is trying to like, it's throwing its head around. You were having a hard time holding on to your um, <laughs> saddle before your hands slip and you begin falling down. Mm -hmm. Get him back up there. The Mirage, you see Dara fall. If you want to try to do something to help, you're more than welcome to. I'll allow it. Yeah, I should have cast speed with animals. Because um, yeah. I rolled a 15 on that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fucking so falling. So you, you definitely Ow. save, and Dara's falling. If you want to do something, you can, but you are competing against him, so you don't have to do anything. He will be saved by Featherfall when he falls. Yeah, I'm not going to die. I'm like, come on, this guy wanted to fish. You I want to make it to the Underwisp. Yeah! <laughs> I want to extend my rod and see if you can catch it. What? I'll give you another dexterity saving throw. <laughs> um, since Mirage is helping you, life. I'll give you advantage. Thank God, because I rolled even lower. Oh. D4? That's still going to be a fail. Bro! And that's with the D4. <gasps> it's dexterity! No. He didn't see it! Talk about that! He didn't see it! He didn't see it! He didn't see it! Roll the fucking die! That is a total of 11. No! Just, 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 use, just use Jamie's eye. Just use it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I used all of my good luck Sorry. in one roll. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> was so bad because you were the one person who actually wanted to do this. <laughs> No. All of my luck for something I didn't even need. <laughs> okay, also, you extend your staff trying to get Dara, and it's just out of reach. <laughs> and Dara just poof, falls to the ground, and before you you hit the ground, Feather Falling is cast in, and mm -hmm. you safely reach the ground. Another DC check for you before you get to the Underwisp. Uh, Ornan, I'll offend you. you're I'll doing really well sense. controlling your high driver. And- I told you, we're Renbuck's just souls that get along because mm -hmm. we're doing great. Oh. Nine. The fact that this is entirely dice luck is why I'm struggling. Six, 30 saving throw. That's frustrating as fuck. Cause I have shit dice luck. Like I was gonna, who, who's the guy running this, Six. by the way? It's a halfling fellow. Okay, cool. I'm halfling fisherman. Right in a second. What is it? I want to land. <laughs> so you go to try to help Dara, and this high driver gets confused for a second as you like your focus shifts elsewhere. So this thing's focus goes all out of whack, and so you try to help Dara. You fail. Try to regain control, but this thing is not having it, and you slip and fall as well. <laughs> Fucking break! All right, Ornan. You are the only one of the Rift Seekers to make it to the Underwiz. I need you to make a perception check to see if you can find a big enough Underwiz tuna. Oh, don't let me down, guys. I feel like you just cursed it now. It's gonna roll a one. Go ahead. Or another 20. Ain't no way. Come on. If it's another 20, I'm eating that dice. 19! <laughs> That's a what 20. the fuck? That's a 22 for perception. Um, I am yelling at the half elf guy because I see Dara I'm like, he hardly even got, how do you get? Let him go again. Let them go again. What do you mean let him go he again? He was so excited to do this, please. Let them go again. The high drivers are still in the air. Yeah, come back. The persuasion, <laughs> persuasion check. <laughs> go no! ahead. I'm not even on the ground yet. Go ahead. You're not gonna mess this up. We're gonna like get him back up there. Go ahead. Go ahead, Macau. Persuade your way out of this. This is gonna be such a hype. Fifteen. No. Please. Please. Oh my God. Please. <laughs> Does it work? <clears throat> So one of the guys that immediately failed, um, the high driver actually like comes back down and someone has it on a leash and they're like, I don't see why not, just let him go. 
All right. I book it over to the door, they, they, and, I, you, and I start walking over to where Derek's following. What? <laughs> Daryl! Daryl, you get another chance! This feels like cheating. Shut the fuck up! Actually, you're at a pretty big disadvantage. People are already up them. Yeah. That's okay. Remember the story about the hare and the tortoise. Get on the fucking high or other. I'm not arguing. Okay, you hop on. I'll, I'll allow you um, to start where you left off. If you wanna, is there anything you can do to try to give you a better chance? Best I can offer is speak with animals. I already have bless. Go you for it. Go, you just go, Sure. Come on, baby girl, you can, you can do it, you can do it. Come on. You just get, we just, it's look, we just like got, we gotta get up there, track, we bro. come back, it's over. Or Odin, leave what was home. your role for perception? Uh, 22. Excuse me. Okay. I find the biggest fucking fish up there. Yeah. Yeah. You, you find a huge fucking wisp fin tuna. So now you need to harpoon it. So you need to make a ranged attack. Oh, for fuck's sake. With I just want Derek to get up there. I want you to experience the lake. The harpoon is spear stats. If that does anything. You don't it's need to worry about damage. This is, this is purely for... Can you look up spear stats? This is basically range plus your if you're proficient in it, which you should be. It's it would be. Uh, it's spears. a melee weapon. Simple. Don't need to worry about the damage. Range 20, 60. Mm -hmm. okay. Don't need to worry about versatile, that. Versatile 1d6. 19. 19 to hit it. 19 succeeds. Hell I just yeah. want her to get in there. All right. <laughs> that's, that's all I want. I so, have a plus six, which has my roll of six. And I was like, <laughs> you get up to the underwiss and you're just below the water and you're looking, you're looking, you're scanning like, and you see a big fucking fish just foom, right past your face and both you and the high guard are just foom, and then immediately We're you so just, insane. you're ready to go. And what do you do to get the high driver to, to go? Cause you're like holding on to this like uh, this saddle, this windshield over you. You're kind of like think of it like riding a, a motorbike, like a sports bike. That's kind of how you're positioned. So what do you do to get this thing zooming? And it's just <sighs> idly flying under the lake. Dara, you can make I'm a cooking. I'm cooking. DC Give me a thirteen. And we'll, have, on, well did you want to cast something? Yeah, I said I was going to cast Speak with Animals, but I don't know if that's going to do anything. You, you can definitely talk to, to it. Try so. to convince it to, like, help you out a little. So, okay, you cast Speak with Animals, and you are foof, flying up. Yeah. <sighs> Remind me of the rules of the competition as to what the, the happens with the fish is supposed to happen with the fish. You are basically just supposed to go to the underwisp, catch the biggest fish, try to avoid catching any mimic marlins who can that can look like the wisp and tunas and then come back down. That's it. I'm going to cast speak with animals until if you help me catch the biggest fish up there, hmm? I'll let you eat the entire thing. Really? Yes. <laughs> 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 this thing takes off at like Mach 5. For any of those of you who are looking, you would see kind of like a little like sonic like circle yeah. and like the rain that's like <clears throat> falling just kind of like <clears throat> it falls over. Like how it's shrieking. As this, yeah. as this thing takes off like a fucking like torpedo just <clears throat> and just takes off. And I'm just falling. <laughs> I, I think I think I got it. Mm -hmm. So Orna just kind of like leans in mm -hmm. and go, tonight we feast like kings. And then I <laughs> You just hear <laughs> And you just like a spear pierce through the water and with precision of a well-trained hunter, you spear that fish with the harpoon. Again, there's like a rope attached to it. You spear it, 
pull it back and that high driver knows exactly what to do. Even this thing is a juvenile, it's like you guys are on the same wavelength. You pierce it, <laughs> it, it goes like kings. It goes up past the tuna, you reel it in, and the moment you reel it in, it dives back down. It, its wings fold yeah. in and you are just diving. Do I do I pass Tara? You would, yes. It, same speeds, different directions. <laughs> I just like in slow motion, it's just me passing my like look over. It's the me from <laughs> the fucking uh, yeah. <laughs> And I just you probably can't hear me, but I just mouth bye buddy. As I like, <laughs> okay, so Dara, with that, you bypass the animal handling checks. Yeah! You have convinced this thing that it gets to feast. Mikhail so, was a little nervous about Mirage, like for a split second, it goes, oh, feather fall. Like, yeah. He's like, oh shit. Oh no, she's okay. And I'm just gently feather falling with my legs crossed, just like. Oh. You just yell, that high driver Mirage! comes back down to you and starts like flying around you, just kind of like looking at you. <laughs> It almost seems like it's like playfully mocking you for a second. Ah, bastard. It kind of like goes up with its tail and just like <laughs> spins you around before. But Cal's losing his show. Oh my god, he's like, yeah! <laughs> All right, so. Do see Ornan just. <laughs> you and Darren. It just sounds, it sounds like a missile just. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to the sky. I am so hard right now. <laughs> Arcane boner. <laughs> no, it's a fishing boner. Fish. Oh, uh, I don't uh, like that. I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> okay, Dara. Dog. Dara, you reach the underwisk. Go ahead and make a perception check. Come on, buddy. I will give you advantage because this high driver is also looking out for fish as well. It's a good thing. Come on. Because that was a horrible. Bro, are you what fucking the fuck? joking? Are you fucking joking? <laughs> Someone, please get this man new dice. How a priest blessed this yeah. time? What? Oh, oh. I'm a fucking <laughs> minister. <laughs> Let's roll fucking dice. I've tried. <laughs> Okay. Let me get ordained and I'll see what happens. Okay, okay, okay. Well, so, he didn't see still it. happens. Well, hold on. Let me give you the actual roll. Okay, okay. It's not that bad. It's okay. just not good. Understood. It's not good. So it's either a 15 for me. Okay. Or if we're allowing Gawain to intervene, it's an 18. Both of those pass. <laughs> you see a school of wisp and tuna foof, like swim right past you. Yes. So, now that you found them, you need to um, make an attack against it with a ranged attack with the harpoon. Come on. Come on, man. Ranged attack. Please! Hold on. Please. Please. The hold DC on. Hold is, hold on. Hold on. is not hold that on. high. No, hold on. Before you roll. I think you forget that I have a negative to attack. Be fucking Because it's ranged. Please. 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 Please, I am on my hands. Speaking of, I have to speak to you after this event. Please. Oh, okay. Please, 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 please. Can please, I have please, my please, dice? Please, 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 uh, that is going to be uh, 21 to hit. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. It worked! It worked! Oh, yeah. I'm In total today, I've rolled two nines, two 19s, a one, and a fi two fives. It worked! It worked! Yeah. It worked! You easily it worked. throw that That's harpoon, balance. <laughs> catch it, reel it in. And that high driver, excited that you've caught a fish, is okay! <laughs> And flies back down. I, I know exactly what I have to whisper to my dice now. I am now a dice whisperer. Mikhail guys. breaks the sound barrier. He's fucking losing it. How do you break the sound barrier? Just like, That's not how okay. that works. 
He does it. <laughs> what? That's Impressive. just how excited he is Impressive. about you guys. Oh. Um, <laughs> Impressive. What? It's the cow we're talking yeah. about. What? They're breaking physics. I broke physics. Understood. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> good talk. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Don't, Ornan, don't try to get my good graces because I apologized to you earlier about future events. <laughs> I was not paying attention to anything you guys were saying, like, at all, so I don't know. No, I Anyways, just giving you shit. Ornan, you'd be the first one to land with a huge wisp fin tuna in your hands. How big we talking? It was big. It's, it's, it big. It's, it's fucking big. It's big. It's a tuna. Yeah. It's a tuna, tuna in general are big. Tuna are huge, but these things specifically are big. Um, yeah. The rest of the people who did not fall, uh, so there's eight of you, so it'd be... Like four others coming back down. Um, all have tunas, but you know that all of them look significantly smaller than the ones you have. Um, Dara, you come back down and you have the third largest out of all of them. I'll take that. There are two. You stand right beside another fisherman and you have the halfling who comes over and starts like measuring them. And he kind of like stands back. It's the sign. The half walk is the winner. Yeah! Ornan sweep. Yeah! Carnival sweep. The Ornan sweep. <laughs> the last departure hat trick. Yes. <laughs> Rift seeker sweep, bitch. Yeah. We're going to all these seeker sweep. We're literally sweeping all these fucking judges. <laughs> They're no the match for us. Fuck with us. We see Rifts, bitch. <laughs> We don't play carnival games. <laughs> I work play to reaction. win! I work on reaction. I tried to win. You did a good job. You, you got third place. You did very good. The way that I said, <laughs> get him the fuck back in the sky. <laughs> and <laughs> the moment you like land, um, the high driver is very well behaved compared to all the other ones, but it is just like looking at the fish that you have, it starts salivating, and then as it like sees all the other fish, it starts like pawing at the ground excitedly, just like waiting. <laughs> oh yeah, no, as soon as they're done measuring, I grab that fish and I just throw it. <laughs> just swallows it whole. Just... Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Good dragon. Well worth it. Time for nap. <laughs> It starts oh, walking away, and like one of the trainers, like whoa, 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 hey, come back! And it just starts like like leaping around and just starts playing with this thing, like not trying to be caught. <laughs> yes, I am the trainer now. <laughs> Sp- um, speak. <laughs> I is the halfling still around? Mm-hmm. So I walk up to him. So uh, what are what are we doing with the uh, the fish? Oh, uh, you would see that there are a whole bunch of baskets full of these fish. Well, it's for the feast tonight. Um, all these fish will be cooked or um, given to other people to use or to eat. Um, it's just kind of ev- for everyone in Sky Exanus. Do you mind if uh, I give half of my tuna to the hydra? And do what you want with it, of and course. I just, she, and I just look back at it and I'm like... <sighs> You've been a very good boy. (laughs) 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 I like walk over. I just (laughs) good boy. boy. Again, it's that low grumbling, but very loud, like purr. I'm like, I will take. Oh, and your prize. Um, he comes over and he hands you um this jar. Inside appears to be oil. This is oil of slipperiness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Resistance Macau Snickers. <laughs> That's fun. What the moment you said jar, I had flashbacks to a very famous magic item in the game, and I was like, oh god, no. The first thing that popped into my head was. Baldur's Gate getting the little jar with the, with the tadpoles in it. <laughs> and I was like, that would suck. What was your first thought? There is a very famous magic item in the game. I don't remember what book it's in, but it's the Jar of Endless Lard. Oh yeah, the Jar of Endless Lard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's a thing, but it is. I don't know either. And most people will uh, set that shit on fire and use it as a bomb. Yeah. 
Mm. Endless bomb. <laughs> never ending bomb. Never ending. It literally just like it never ends. Shit by the on fire also, so um, you know that long sword? Yes. No. Mm. What? No. I can't have it. Okay. Because I'm not proficient with martial weapons. <laughs> what, what do you want instead? <laughs> oh. Give me a quarter staff. Understood. Because then I can cast Shillelay. Yes. Yes. All right. Shillelay. Sounds God good. Understood. The moment I saw it, I was just like, I'm going to fucking just kill myself, I guess. Understood. No, it's, that's Wolf so dice. funny. Because the only cleric that can use martial weapons is the war domain, which makes sense, but it's like, fuck, fuck you. you. First off. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So you guys completed the big catch. Horn in one. Good job. <gasps> that looked fucking horrifying. You guys looked good. <laughs> yeah, it was. <gasps> that is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't decide if the free fall aspect of it uh, is would be fun or not. Maybe it was nice to just. It was a nice view. No. But. Uh, uh, <laughs> it wasn't there a uh, costume itchy. contest that a certain someone kind of wanted to go win? Oh, yeah. Or participate in, participate and win? Uh, someone could... who's really good with uh, fabrics and making yeah. stuff. I wonder where and... we could find such a scrap. I wonder where we could find with such a knack for talent. Just such a, such God, a talented you know, seamstress. He, and... like, he's quite handsome. It's like, uh, I feel tailor. like he would be able to really wow the crowd. Oh, like, damn especially with his embroidery. Yeah, good. You know. Kind of. God, he looks pale. I don't white know. It's just it's escaping me. God, I can't remember his name. He's alive with me. What do you think, Ambrose? What do you think? Do you know anybody like that? <sighs> what the fuck? Can we roll group persuasion? <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> this will be good for branding. Group persuasion. What is good for branding? Um, getting your name out to sky. Rift, exists. seek, or sweep. What is that supposed to mean? We're, We're going to be famous! Think of all the extra business you can get in Sky Examus. Come on. Come on. Come on. What? Okay, okay, okay. Sure. Unnatural <gasps> 20. 17. I thought you got another natural 20. I'm like, this bitch. <laughs> this dude. Persuasion, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. Tight. tight. Group persuasion, Dara. 15? I don't know why you guys roll and Amherst is going to do it anyway. Yeah, for fun. Yeah, for fun. Yeah, sure. We're, we're all being really cunning. Yeah, I'm still under the effect of bless. Hold on. It's more so the not control not we have over I'm another so person. fucking dumb. What? It's a nat one. <laughs> fucking! <laughs> what the actual Switch fuck? your dice. Switch your dice. Switch them out. Switch them out. All right. Koi, I'm never buying dice with you again. <laughs> are they all every, every dice? Ones? Hey, it works out for the rest of people. Are horrible. <laughs> We're all just looking at Ambrose, just like batting our eyelashes, just... I am finding the same. Okay, okay, yeah! I was gonna go anyways, I was just waiting for you guys to do go, all the rest of your go, stuff. Go along, pretty boy. Go. I don't really complimenting Ambrose again. I, I don't I'm know. Fun, I'm making fun of him, not complimenting. <sighs> this will be delightful. I think... Nobody asked for you, Google Assistant. Uh, it's my ass! <laughs> it's my ass! <sighs> I, I don't, okay, okay! <laughs> he just turns around and starts walking. Follow. We follow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just... Uh... What? Nothing, nothing. Just... I don't know why... <clears throat> Never mind. Do you need a smoke to calm you down? Please. I don't know, he's been like out of sorts today. I mean, I don't know, that <sighs> rattlesnake must have been real fucking... Yeah, real, you know. honestly, I think that rattlesnake might have gotten through about the day. It really fucked him up. As Ambrose is walking, just... <laughs> yeah. What, is there another rattlesnake? I, I regret so many things. Yeah, <laughs> All right, to the costume contest. You're gonna crush it. 
<laughs> to the salon! <laughs> All right. All right, so... Get him, bitches, we're going shopping! You guys, you come to a white stone pavilion with a blue dome ceiling. You see an eccentric-looking Kyoin wearing a maroon tailcoat with tall collar surrounding the back of his neck and four separate coat tails, each fading into a different bright and dazzling color. The edges of his coat fade into a variety of color, making it a spectacle to look at. He wears bright colored makeup with a variety of color and has glittered sprinkled on his hair uh, on his hair and face, making him look like he sparkles in the light. Uh, he has bands, bangles, and rings on his hands and arms that jingle with every move that he makes. The Kion watches the contestants um, and bounds over to help wherever he can. Um, at this point, you guys can see there are different groups who are making different costumes. Um, he appears overjoyed that others are participating in his activity. And as you approach, he spins around and calls out to you in a tone that you wouldn't expect a Kyoin to have. And he does speak in common, which okay. is, again, a rare strange thing. because Kyoin usually only speak and understand their own tongue. Oh, dearie me, come to create a masterpiece? We are making costumes for a costume contest. This year's theme is magic. Care to join in? He will. <laughs> I just from behind him. Yes, I would like to join. Wonderful. <laughs> please, please come. Uh, here is your own table. All the materials you'll need are right here. He just pulls out his own materials. He's like, this is cheap. pulls out his own stuff. Like, this is cheap. <laughs> what you'll need to make is a shirt, pants, and a hat. That is all that is required. Everything else is a bonus. Hmm. You have one hour, and you can have whoever you want to help. Begin! I feel like you're going to be woke. All right, so Ambrose looks over all the materials, stands back for a second, looks it over. I got it. And immediately, like a, like a, <laughs> like he's building Legos. <laughs> the fabric's flying everywhere, ribbon and glitter in the air. Yeah. Mikhail was enthralled every time he does this shit, so he's just like watching the whole time. It's like, holy are shit. any of you participating to help, or are you just watching? If he needs help, I will gladly yeah. assist. He needs or, just an assistant. Yeah, if, yeah, if he needs funny. help, willing to I assist. I can touch him every time he needs to make a roll and give him guidance. Okay. Bless. Ambrose. Bless. <laughs> this Bless. is when Ambrose is in the zone. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when he gets like this, he usually just does his own thing and doesn't ask for help. So. If something's about to like fall off the table, like catch up. Like, just keep it as space organized. Okay, cool. Good. So, so water. I like damp the sweat. Just yeah. <laughs> While he's holding up fabric and looking at it, I'll roll his sleeves up. <laughs> so, yeah. so his arms are more so, free. At this point, there are three other groups um, competing against Ambrose. Mm -hmm. Um, they're all making their own different costumes. Um, some of them are working in larger groups, while there, there's one that's just working as a pair. Um, but they all look pretty into this. Like oh, yeah. they're 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 really into making his costume. So Ambrose begins working on the shirt first. Um, as he's working, he just would like look up at some point and goes. What should I base this off of? Mm. I can base it off of like the source of magic, kind of like it's just anything how, magic. So it's it like be how, a, a how the spell. light of a wear looks, like that kind Ooh, of color, kind of billowy and yeah, uh, like very like flowy, yeah. like incorporate kind of because I don't know what. It, the, the magic looks like so you get kinda, some like pastel colors in yeah Something the light very, of aware yeah, yeah very very, very yeah. inspired by the light of aware i think that'll give you some creative points i think that's a good idea very ethereal aqua colors very okay ethereal. maybe maybe they'll want some like some, some Ooh, it could be like get some like celestial body elements like, kind like of a going. starry robe that 
at the like fades into like colorful rainbow yeah. colors kind of, of, kind of like, the, like, the, like the aurora borealis kind yeah. of oh. kind of theme like at the end yeah okay so he's gonna do that <laughs> we're all really just like, yes we're all really good into this and i love it <laughs> i'll describe to you always light <laughs> he can see okay. it I know you can. He said, I will describe to you. <laughs> it's like, that's Ambrose just, don't worry, you. for those of you who cannot see. I, actually, I need Ambrose's stats. Stat! I have a dumb idea. Give me that pale twink stat! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he has to succeed at 13, and he did for his first roll. Um, so. Let's see if the other content. Oh. Uh, how was that the same one? Okay. Um, it seems like two of the other groups are having a tough time getting their shirt down. But Ambrose, after he like looks up and asks what he should design it, he, you can see the the gears turning in his head. And he goes, yeah. "I got it!" And immediately he pulls out like this robe and starts just like designing it perfectly. Um, he's actually gonna take you, Macau, to be the model. He just kind of like hey. takes you over <laughs> and then starts taking your measurements, throws the robe on you and just starts going at it. It's a very billowy long robe. I'm used to this. Um, <laughs> and then you see there's a whole bunch of like dyes and colors on the table and he just like slides it off to Either you, Mirage, or Ornan, whoever's standing around, just says. I got, I got it. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll. Just a de- dexterity check. Oh. <laughs> Wonderful. Eighteen. Wonderful. Since Ambrose is also helping you, um, he rolled a nineteen, so the design comes out perfectly for you guys. Yes. All right. So the next thing is going to be uh, pants. So what should he again? He's there's different types of pants. That he just kind of like laid out on there, and he just asked once again what he should do, because you have like this long like billowy robe, long coat type of thing. I think, hear me out. It, pants could also be like dress as well, like skirt or something like that. Perhaps you could do something almost like harem pants, where they're tight at the waist and then they billow out at the legs and then they're tight again at the ankles and it's kind of open on the side so you can see the leg. Oh, this because if it's long and billowy on the top, it should be billowy on the bottom as well to kind of like oh look how. But then kind it can of. be cinched at the waist with the pads silhouette. It breathes. It breathes, but it's strong. it's all contained nicely with I the feel waist like of the pants. There should be like some sort of like um like for the the cutout some either type of. Like some type of like lace or something. Yeah, yeah like like, like kind of just work and stuff. <laughs> yes. Some like very like, like nice on, and broad that's and very having thin um, transparent uh, little veil like things. Yeah. Yes, that's yes, 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 oh, yes, 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 yes. Like a mitt, like a like a <laughs> like a fishing net, like like a leather. Like. <laughs> okay, very good. Again, Ambrose immediately gets to work on that after he has the idea. <laughs> God, do I have to strip down? I'm a jibby. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Got guidance. Doesn't even need it. Yeah. Ambrose is in the zone. He rolled another 19. Yeah. He passes with flying colors. You are seeing, you are seeing a master at work. (laughs) Um, He doesn't even ask for help. Once you guys kind of get an idea going in his head, he. (laughs) Um, All right, the other contestants. Move. <laughs> just every now and then I just, you just hear fuck and I'm like. Yeah, you see, you hear some other people like, like they're getting hurt and you see someone like raise up their hands and they just like bandages everywhere oh, no. and they're just having a hard time. Just kind of look over and just. 
<laughs> other the other group appears to be designing some sort of like really intricate like flowing skirt, almost like that peacock's out at the very yeah, bottom yeah, of it. Yeah. Um, and the other group just finds some regular ass pants and says, "That's good. We're running out of time." All right. right. So the next thing is hat or headwear. That's the last thing you guys got to design. Hmm. Considering your horns too. You can integrate them. You could do like a like a big fucking almost like a mm, headdress situation, or like, a, or like a, a simple fucking circlet or something. I feel like a circlet, like a Ooh. kind of like darker essel, maybe like black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have like a look like it comes to like a point. It comes to like a point, but mm. then how they attach it is like around the horns. <gasps> It could spiral so, up the horns. And then spiral around. Very like mendable, so you can just like wrap it around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like at the end, like at the end of like the wire or something, you could have like little gems that kind of like dangle uh. off of the end. Good idea. Hey, that's not really my strong suit, but I'll try. And he starts taking materials and tries to do it. You could do like wrapping, what? like wire wrapping. Yes. What's Uh-oh. he trying to make it out of? Um, it'd be like some sort of pliable. You could probably wire have some sort of like almost? like copper or like you can like bend and twist it. Ambrose is really having a tough time on this one. Okay. Can, yeah. can, can we help him? You are more than welcome to help. Like to help. yeah, I'll offer I would guidance, like to help. But... What what do we do? Uh, it'd be a dexterity check. Okay. Straight Absolutely up. not. Fifteen. I will. Natural twenty. Yeah. Dead ass. Added to the thing. It's all. It's all. No, right. my oh, my oh, punch card is full. Oh, yeah, right. I'm not rolling that shit. Okay, that's fine. So negative one. I will hinder. <laughs> the twenty passes the check you need because since Ambrose is leading it, the DC was a seventeen. So, so twenty three. He's four, having a, a really hard time, like trying to. Uh, move this like black wire to the way it needs to be uh, trying to use like Macau as the model um, and then you just kind of like move over <laughs> you start doing it and since you already had it in your head you ease easily and Ambrose kind of just like sits back and I'm like oh <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh it's him I guess is he really is as soon as Orna steps in front of me and he's like move I just I don't know as a joke I'm just like so yeah, you make this intricately designed like black wire um, circlet that wraps around the cow's That's so horns. out of character, but I feel like he would have done something like that for his sister, so. Oh uh, yeah. Fable? You probably have practice with like whatever flowers can grow in I guess. So okay. Like, um, that was two natural ones in a row. So. <laughs> Get Googled! I feel Is that like, for us? I feel the the other teams. Oh, I, feel like I, I feel have this. like stats written for them, so they have to pass a certain check. Rift, Seeker, Sweet. I believe this is a the murder. first team <laughs> failed all but one. <laughs> so did the second team. I think the third team had two successes. You guys succeeded all three. Bam! 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 At the very end of the costume contest, the hour is up, and the Kyoin announces everyone to stop and present their dress or costumes or dresses. Um, so each team has a model that they put up in front and out of all of them, your guys' costume is the most intricate. It is yep. the most beautiful. It is, it is a masterpiece. Um, the Kyoan stands back and looks at all of them and gen- then goes up to you, Macau, and is just so like proud. And he's like almost like Tears start like streaming down his face. <laughs> he's pretty good, right? This is. I can't. Yeah, he's a fucking <laughs> genius. What is your name, good sir? And Anderson says his name. I, I just. So good. Um, but yeah, you guys win the costume contest. Rip, sink, or swim! <laughs> I found the name of the episode. (laughs) (laughs) Let's go. I could not contribute at all. However, I have something to contribute. Oh, there you go. Check the fucking new channel again. I've done it again. Oh, God. 
<laughs> a worse luck. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's so fucking funny. What is that? As your guys' prize, you get to keep that costume. Yo! Can we wear it? Yes. It's just McCow's new outfit. <laughs> I can't see the light, but I can show sure it. <laughs> I forgot to write down all of our descriptions. Shit. I'll say this, cool. since it's try. really not like a magic item, when you are wearing this, you get a plus one to performance checks. Hey. Nice. There you go. I gotta try drawing this if I fucking remember the details. You can always come back and listen to the episode. Yeah, that's just true. That's true. That's have to wait. Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. Ugh. Terrible. Ribs, I, I, I Ribs, have it in my brain, so I could also just like. Cool. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. Those were the four activities of the last departure festival in Sky Xanis, <laughs> and you guys have won each one of them. Yep. Rip Let's go! Let's fuck it up! Oh, fuck you, Sky Xanis, we run this bitch! We, we saved you, and now we came back and we went. What are going to fuck up your entire festival? Fucking fuck styling on them. <laughs> We gave you hope just so we could take it away. <laughs> See, but, but here's the thing is that we're all balanced enough that at some point we all very much contributed to something and that yeah. feels very good. Good. Fucking Korea is just off of this and like, wow. <laughs> like, <laughs> says, wow, look at them go. <laughs> like, I, I know those guys. <laughs> those are my friends. They, they helped me. I'll just go they stayed at my house. <laughs> <laughs> I said them like they were my own children. I'm just gonna take another quick look up at the sky at uh, Mother Serpent. See if still not looking at you. Still, rift direction Her gaze is locked yeah. on the rift. I just like you know, figures. Yeah. Yeah. How long has it been since uh, the the outfit stuff? Oh, uh, it, this costume contest took an hour. Oh, okay. With all the other activities, it would be over a few hours that you guys would be exploring Sky Xanus, going to the different uh, activities okay. and events. Didn't you want to go to the temple? Oh, yeah. Oh, I do want to pick up my outfit. It should be finished dying mm -hmm. at this point. Die? Oh, yeah. like fabric, like die. Yeah. Not I was like, like dying. Uh, like ooh. we already nope. did that once. I don't, I don't want to. I still. don't want us to go through that again. Still. <laughs> don't, don't you worry, dude. Don't you worry. Yeah. I guess I'll grab those, and I guess I don't know what to do with the temple if Mother Serpent is occupied. Maybe wait till tomorrow when. She'd be more willing to talk, but yeah. she's not the fixated on. Yeah, all I of mean that. that depends on if build guy comes back or not. You know. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I just took this day to kind of eat and feast, and never really uh, kind of all underwhelming. <laughs> the god stuff. Yeah, not for me. No. Mm. Dragon What the fuck did you say, Keith? Oh, I heard him. I saw every ounce of that. <laughs> what the fuck did you say? You mean what I had earlier this morning? Yes. Do you want to go get some? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'll leave you right there. Can I just grab you by the wrist. I'll just say, come Whoa. on, me. Uh, oh. Where are you going? Dragon steak. Dragon steak? Oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe I'll go on. Well, I stop. I just. You want no time. Did you want? Did you want one? Yes, please. I literally I switch hands and I just like run back. I'm like, all right, come here. Oh shit! <laughs> 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 
No. Father hell. <laughs> Father hell. I was like, we are going to go get dragon sticks. No sir. Yeah, get it. Uh, fuck it. Ah, I just do drag me by my tail on clawing through the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> dragon sticks. Like, yeah. I want the drink first. <laughs> <laughs> Drink after! You're going to get turned up on the outfit! Ambrose just... Then don't stick a glove in the dirt! <sighs> Is it washable? Yeah. Alright. I'm... I think I'm just gonna go walk around for a bit. I'll this is... I was thinking about going and seeing that weird temple. You know, I'll go with you. I was about to be like, in the distance you hear Onan, just fucking go together! <laughs> he doesn't even know where we're going. I don't know. All right, well, I'll just follow you. Yeah, let's go check out the temple. Christmas. Yes. Magically happen. Christmas. <laughs> Make a pot. Oh, it's empty. <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> Make a pot. <laughs> I got so excited for a second. The red and blue trouble. What was that? I almost dropped it. <laughs> All right, so you guys, or you three, um, Ornan, Mirage, Macau, being dragged along, go to get the dragon steak that the Goliaths were grilling up. Yep, 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 yep. Um, and then Dara and Ambrose, you guys are going to the temple. Yes. All right. I'm here to collect lore. Thank you. Hell yeah. Let me lore pull up seeker. my special lore for this guy. I had a feeling you were going to have shit written, and if nobody went, it was going to be real disappointing. This was purely optional, where I'm like, if you want to, you can. If you don't, that is A okay. I don't care either way. Hey, the biggest bummer is that Macau doesn't give a fuck, but Jamie does. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just like, I don't care. And then I'm like, hey, hey, Keith, pause. Damn, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> pause. No. The way that I also have to pee. Piss. What are you doing, Dara? There's just. Big front doors. Yep. So. You open it up, and this temple, um, there's no light apart from this, like, red glow. Immediately what you see, standing in a perfect circle, are a group of just, it looks like normal-looking elves. Um, all of them, though, wear very simple, uh, like black robes, no hoods or anything. It's just a simple robe. Um, but they stand in a perfect circle. There's a magic circle on the ground that is glowing red. Above them is a red sphere that is glowing, and that light is casted down upon them. All of these elves are looking up and have their hands outstretched like they're basking in the light. As you enter, all of them are like humming or murmuring or whispering. Um, but as you enter and the doors shut behind you, uh, approaching kind of like on your right side is a female elf, um, long like silver hair, pointy ears, uh, very graceful features. And she just kind of like appears, her hands clasped and kind of like resting on her um, like chest. And she just looks at you. <clears throat> Hello, child. Welcome. Are you here to join in on our ritual? I'm here to learn. Wonderful. Glad to hear it. What would you like to learn about? Well, I don't know a whole lot, so I'm kind of just... I'm ready to be thrown in the deep end, to be honest. I know that... You worship someone named the Architect, and I believe that Architect is the same reason that the entire everything exists, <laughs> from our understanding. You would be correct, child. The Architect 
is the creator of the biosphere. None of us, not even the gods themselves, would be here if it wasn't for him. The red being, the cosmic entity. Not seen for a century now. We are hoping that he returns on this day, the exact day that he left 100 years ago. My name is Kiradeth, by the way. Kiradeth, yep, good enough. My name is Daryl, um, and so, do we, bear with me, I have a lot of ignorance, so this was his second time leaving, third time. Timeline. Yeah. I know. I'm pretty sure it's two or three. I think, but it's I, second I think time it is the second time. I just want to confirm with my own There was notes. arrival, make dip, rearrival, chill in, dip. There was the first opening of the rift, and he left, but he made a very brief appearance. That was before the second harmonizing, mm-hmm. though. And that's when okay. he was kind of just like eeping yes. and then dipped. <clears throat> um, no. Wrong. Okay. The rift opens and he leaves. That yeah. was the first time anyone, even the gods, saw him. Yeah. The rift opens for a second time and he comes back. During this time, um, it is known as the Silent Rain. Um, this lasted for a century. During this time, the gods went silent. Yes, so Vasilius uh, returns, went dormant for a hundred years during the silent reign. During this time, all the gods went silent. No one could contact them whatsoever. And then he left exactly 100 years ago in the year 690 AA. So yes, this would be there's only twice that people would have seen him. The most recent one was 100 years ago. Okay. Yeah. So this would be a, uh, the second coming of the architect, essentially. Got it. Yeah. No, my notes. So that's what she would explain to you. Understood. Why well, I took notes. And why do you pray for his return. Do you hope to see change? Change, knowledge, and understanding of why we are here. Why do we exist? What is our ultimate purpose? The Blooming Gods were here. They have passed into myth and legends as they have not been seen since, well, before the first harmonizing. We know of them because their descendants, the gods, know of them. And they have bestowed knowledge to us. But us mortals, No one is alive today that has seen the Blooming Gods. Remnants of their creations lie buried in ethos. We walk upon their creation, bask in the light of their creation and in the darkness. But the architect There is a reason he created the Blooming Gods. And there is is a reason why the Blooming Gods created their children. 
and thus there is a reason why we are here. We seek to understand why. We hope that with the return of the architect, he would bestow upon us that knowledge. And thus, we as mortals could continue on our lives with the understanding of our divine ultimate purpose in life. Okay. One question. How my only fear with this is you describe wanting him to bestow you knowledge, but wasn't he, was he not silent the first hundred years he was here? Yes. But we who have gazed upon him still hold out it's fair. hope. When he first arrived here through the rift, he did go dormant, mm -hmm. silent. And so did the rest of the gods. Right. As if the whole world held its breath, waiting for something to happen. And then the rift opened, and he left. We do not know why. Some have theories. There are different branches of our order who hold and have or have different beliefs. We believe that he is seeking something. But we don't know what that is. What other reason would he have to abandon his creation? Okay. Out of character here. Did we ever determine when the spaceship where we found candy landed? When it landed. When? Yes, uh, when. It's really funny because I completely forgot about the <laughs> Kai's broadcast. Yeah. So. Yeah. It was when he first left, the spaceship would have been pulled into the rift. So it was when he first. Back before the first harmonizing, right? Uh, Before the second harmonizing. Okay. Yeah. That... Spaceship. Let me... That fucking sucks. SF Adam crash landed. Yeah, the first here. opening of the rift was before the second harmonizing. When the architect... I, see, I thought I had written that down, but I knew it was during one of the harmonizings yeah, that the ship crash landed. Yeah, because some sort of creature appeared through a portal or tear in space, mm -hmm. and then the image cut out or whatever, and so the yes. ship probably just went straight through there. Yes. Right when he was like, oh, hey. <laughs> like, yep. <laughs> so the take a chomp out the silliest, brain. so this is how the timeline would, would correlate to this. First opening of the rift, he departs through, and then Kai's broadcast would happen. You see the rift open, Vasilius goes through, and that ship, the broadcast cuts out, but that's where it connects. Yeah. So that's how long this ship would have been Dude. on Ethos. A long, a long time. fucking time. Damn. Oh, because how long ago was the second harmonizing? So 848 to 1077 BA before Anamnesis. Anamnesis, the creation of it is year zero. It is now the year 790 AA. AA being after analysis. Oh my god, dude. So, like, 1700 years ish. Fuck. Like, 16 to 1700 years. The ago. land grew over it. This <sighs> thing is buried deep, not super deep, but it's a mine. So, that land. And Holy this ship was big when fuck. you saw it. Holy fuck. So, yeah. <sighs> okay. That, that ship has been down there 
Or fucking ever. That's insane. The fact that any of it still worked. Yeah. That's wild. That's crazy, bro. I would say there's a reason for that, but I'm pretty sure you would already guess it. It's a futuristic ship yeah. from the year. Yeah, no, I, I completely understand that. It's just, yeah, it's still baffling. That's all. Yeah. The architect and doesn't the, give a fuck about time. Yeah, you were able to also basically power it on, and most of that stuff still functioned. Yeah. Yeah. That thing was built to last. It was the the last voyage of their people in hopes of finding a new planet. So it's not only built to go there, but become the centerpiece, not centerpiece, but base of operations. Yeah. It certainly didn't succeed. The charter. Was so toxic. they are. That ship, essentially, the Vasilius just caused the death of a god. Because there would be no believers left. Mm -hmm. Just by like, hey, hey, I'm gonna head out, guys, and then just wiped out an entire civilization. <laughs> oh shit, sorry. <laughs> and then kept going. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> Boom! Whoopsies. Sorry, you're not worthy of looking at me, you dumb bitch. Get out of my way. Mm -hmm. You can be my servant. Jeez. Yeah. Fucker. And so they just know him as the architect. Yeah. Correct. That's horrible. Right? I know something you don't know. <laughs> I know something you don't. I know something you will never know. There are more questions that I should be answering. Asking, sorry. Getting answers to. <laughs> yeah. More questions that need answers. Yeah. How? You, you want to know where those are? Gone. Gone. <laughs> Anybody got any questions? Like you mask while I'm here. Um, oh shit. I don't know, there were a lot of things that kind of already got answered that I was curious about. Mm -hmm. so I was like, and really, we don't have a lot of yeah. knowledge regarding him at all. Yeah, or much motivation. Just no, there's curiosity. absolutely no there's motivation no besides motiv pure curiosity. Just curious, like, what the fuck's up with that? Like, us as players, or like, just in general like yeah, yeah. like hmm. I am certain that if I was in Knox brain I would have a lot more fucking questions <sighs> you're telling me motherfucker oh I would be ripping those people apart <laughs> for <laughs> worshipping they don't know no they, they have no idea they don't know they have no fucking I was idea. saying Vesper <laughs> would cast fireball in an open church and wipe them the fuck out and they just god they don't know Oh, do you have theories as to where he began? We believe that the creator is not from here. We believe that because we have no other reasons or theories as to why he would be leaving through the rift. The rift holds many powers as seen by the vesiculums, the shards of the rift. These are powerful artifacts, each one with powers beyond anyone's comprehension. Right. Powers beyond the gods. If our creator is going through the rift, perhaps it's seeking power, seeking something it may have lost. Or perhaps it was birthed in this universe. But then the question still remains. 
Why does he abandon us? Why doesn't he speak to us? Yeah, it's basically just... I don't remember exact, but... When, when, it opened, it went, when he left, mm-hmm. the rift essentially shattered yep. and pieces of it fragmented oh, okay. and scattered all throughout Skaithen. Could not recall. Mm. I was like, is this no more so <laughs> And the Flux Weavers are the ones who had the majority of it because they were studying it because yeah. they are the magic capital of Skaithen. Yes. Fuck those yep. guys. Okay. Hope they're having a terrible Christmas. So it's probably a safe assumption, and I could be completely wrong here, that he leaves because this isn't his home. We are potentially just nothing more than an experiment to him. I sure hope that is not the case. Otherwise. And she, like, scans over the rest of the people who um, are still in prayer or worship. Then we have no purpose here, truly. There would be no meaning. We are just... Nothing. Even a test test subject has a purpose. And what purpose would that be? To gather results. Find answers. We not may not be the ones to correlate them most of the time, but it doesn't mean we can't. I understand your way of thinking. Though, I refuse to believe that I am nothing more than a test subject in some divine experiment. Yeah, no, that's fair. It's not a pleasant thought. <laughs> no. I'm sure the gods would also think the same. Yeah, I don't think they would like to be considered test subjects. No, not the divine. There's more. It keeps leaving. Use that big wrinkly brain of yours. It is smooth today. No, Someone took an iron to it. Sprinkle! Did it work? No. Fuck, dude. I tried. I did my best. You didn't try hard enough. Well, so you said you think he might be leaving searching pow- searching for power. Does that mean that... Well, it's very safe to assume just based off of everything. We don't know. Hold on. So it's likely safe to assume that it's heading to some other universe, realm, corner of the universe, something, to search? It is safe to assume that, yes. Do you think it's the same universe, an alternate reality? Well, if the Vesiculums have anything for us to glean knowledge off of, we believe that he is traveling to different realities. Something entirely different from our world. But again, this is only just a belief. Our faith. Right. There are so many things that it could be that we do not know. We have tried asking the gods, but they are also clueless. They are also waiting for his return. They too want answers, like us. Which is why they were so silent when he returned. They waited with bated breath, hoping for anything, a crumb of knowledge, an answer just like us. And how come you guys choose to continue waiting instead of putting your time to other faith? I'm not trying to dispute any of what you're doing. I'm just trying to understand. 
Why do you continue worshipping the same god? Because I continue to get results and answers. Is that it? Yes. It is different for us. That's fine. We feel connected. Whole. We feel as if we are one when we worship our creator. Okay. Those who worship the gods of this world. While some worship many and understand the balance of the gods, they are still divided hold different, entirely different beliefs from one another. But all of us who worship the architect, all believe in him, believe that this is his creation. We are together. It's a comforting thought. No, no, I can see why that would be the case. And for us, those blessed with long life by the Lord of the Gods, some of us devote our entire lives to the our Creator, one above Tagong, the one above the blooming gods. Anybody else got anything? The only question I have is meta, so no. Super, super meta. Yeah, I have one final question. Where Do you think the rift gains its power from the architect, or is it powered by something else? That's a good question. That's where I was going. That's, a good That's why I was in there yeah, to get his power. Yes, I know. I just built upon it. I appreciate your question. I wanted to come back to it. You're welcome. This is actually... That is a good question. That's a good question. Because I'm not You're too welcome. sure if these people would know exactly. And That's fine. They are, if they say, I don't know, makes sense to me. Because I don't know if I've shared it. I believe you guys know because I've already yes. explained this at the very beginning, but yeah. I, don't I don't think that question has been answered by mm -hmm. anyone yet in this world so far. I don't think it has. And no, with the sense. things that I have written, her answer would be, she doesn't know. Sir. Because the rift has only opened twice, but there has been multiple rift storms, and with that, yeah. rift walkers. Which is weird. So there's a lot of mystery surrounding it, and they don't know. Okay. Was the rift still open when the architect was there? when he was dormant or did it close and it's like <laughs> it closed okay like complete okay that's why the opening My of isn't working the when... opening of the rift yeah. is a very significant thing in the timeline for some reason i'm, tr I'm trying to word it a specific way it's not coming out right and it's so like i know that it's closed in the but... stand of in the middle of anamnesis there is a closed rift that you can see yeah <laughs> It's, like it's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. That's yes. Good. So from where you guys are, because you are in the city state of Lothmanger, you would pretty clearly be able to see the tear in the fabric of reality. It is literally like a tear. Yeah. And it is like a strand of light, and then 
splintering or spidering off are like the shattered pieces or pieces of it. So it looks like a shattered mirror in the sky, but the cracks are like this um, energy. 3D mirror. Mm -hmm. Is it this or that? Oh, it's this. It's okay. vertical. Is it one of those things where when you walk, it just follows? Or is it completely stationary, like breaking physics? Where if you walk to one side, you can see that it's just cracked. And then if you go like this, or like you're this way, you can see the side of it. Does it's it break physics? exactly like how you would view a Rift Walker's head. So it just follows your shit. That, ah, that's so cool. Okay. Because no matter how you view the almost what looks to be like a 2D like void of the rift walker's head yeah. is the same thing with the rift your brain's pretty cool dude just to let you know oh. <laughs> your brain's pretty fucking cool it's pretty wrinkled i'd say it's pretty wrinkle wrinkled yeah so many ridges and lumps and valleys and bumps hell yeah okay and well, i think final question here in any form of written or verbal history do we know if anyone in the past has ever been communicated to as a mortal by the architect any chosen. In a way, there is one. We refer to him as the madman. Let me fucking pull it up because this is a, this is a story I wrote. Um, Ain't no way I just pulled that out of my ass and found lore. That's so fucking rad. Give me We're just like <laughs> <laughs> We're both just like Give me a few it. minutes because this is an actual thing that has happened in history that was a little a little significant to this. <laughs> One of Lothmanger Eretas's descendants, Cassian Eretas. After the silent reign had concluded and the architect appeared, everyone was frightened of this red being at first, but Cassian sought to rise above the rest and finally get an answer. He crossed over the hold, over the crater, right to the red being itself. I remember watching. We waited. Everyone held their breath as Cassian placed a hand upon the red being. It was a mere moment before he turned around and walked back. And then we remember the screams. Endless, agonizing, terrifying. I still remember it to this day. He became mad. His mind was broken. He looked as if you've seen Horus beyond our imagination. The council thought it would be best to subdue him, put him in an endless sleep. And thus, of old age, Cassian expired. And so too, hope of gaining any knowledge from our creator. And thus, born the legend Cassian Eratas, the madman. And this doesn't stop you from your pursuit. 
No. He saw something. Yes. We don't know what it was. But we yearn to know what Cassian saw. Do you have an idea on how to safeguard yourself from the same madness? No. Bruh. Nor do I think anyone would dare do what Cassian did. Not even the gods tried. But we still hold out hope. We still hold on to faith. That one day, we will know. We will know the truth. <laughs> and the the rituals mm-hmm. that you complete, the ones such as now that you're complete uh, doing, for, what do they achieve? Unlike you and others who worship the gods, we pray and worship to a being that is not here. There is no direct connection to the architect. Whereas you and others like yourself You have a connection to your God. You can talk to them, feel their presence, use their power. It is not the same with the architect. We worship and do rituals as an act of faith. We do not gain anything apart from Connecting our hearts and minds together to those participating, to those who hold the same faith. But apart from that, we gain nothing. We do not gain power. We do not gain knowledge. We do not have that blessed presence of the architect. It is a void. Some may see it as strange, but to us, it feels right. I would say that is exactly what faith is. Yes. Only one of the primary reasons I ask is because it seems that you are completing a ritual that is succeeding. The orb of red light. Yes. It symbolizes the architect. We hope that one day we can bask in the red light of the architect. <laughs> Hold on. We hope that one day you will cross the sky. The light of your lore beams down upon him, basking the biosphere in red. Entirety. 
Uh, remind me on how to spell your lore. Y L O R. I think it's Y apostrophe. I was just gonna say yeah. Apostrophe in there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm actually from it. I was pretty certain I had that right. Okay. What do you apostrophe at? <laughs> what apostrophe at? Throw that shit like no damn it. Be grammatically correct. <laughs> and. The ritual that you are currently complete, completing, is this one of your own design? Where do you get your rituals from? Over centuries of prayer and worship, we have developed this particular ritual. As you can see, the red sphere symbolizes the creator right. as it is perfect a sphere without flaw <gasps> everything on the biosphere is imperfect and flawed but this like our creator is perfect. What a wonderful world. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. Hey, so I'm gonna beat you up. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna I fucking beat you. <laughs> I'm gonna shove that whole cake up your ass. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> And the box and everything. <laughs> I hope you know this. This isn't coy right now. This is like this. That's for us. I'm. <sighs> Get out! <laughs> Doctor Strange, shunt him out of your body. <laughs> Remove yourself. Jesus. Yeah. Remove yourself, twink. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a novel. Yeah, I got a whole ass novel. What do you think I have? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, good luck ending out. That was the Batman laugh. That was the Batman laugh. The Lego Batman laugh. (laughs) (laughs) Good luck getting rid of all the the keyboard typing. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, I love how the mic is directed right toward his laptop. (laughs) Me screaming. I feel like you should swap. Me forgetting this is right here. The only reason why I place it like that is so it could like encompass both sides and like all the the table. So I didn't take into account. Should be okay. What the fuck? First off, the lore, because I've been sitting on this the entire time, creating a character as horrible as it would be, as a worshiper, would be fucking fun. It'd be pretty fun. However, as misery's end, (laughs) no! This is why I love how this is a sequel, because this is exactly what I wanted from this. Mm-hmm. This exact reaction of, oh shit, but also we, you we have to be the normal. Party, do not know. We have to be normal. And this to everyone else is normal. Yep. This is a day in the life. It's one of the few perks of actually having a dead character is I don't have to fall into his mindset. His mindset is I am a brick. You think I want this? You think, you think I, I asked for this? this? No, I don't think you do. That's why I'm saying it's a perk for me. Everything think, is fine. You think we asked for this? I, I'm not saying that it's good for you, dumbasses. So anyway, if anybody wants to kill him, his address is one. <laughs> it's one. Eat my ass, one. It's... <laughs> I think you've got a questions. Very well. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna cry about this later. What time cool. of day is it? Uh, it's approaching. You got. It's morning. It's been so. lots of hours. It's been many hours. Afternoon like ish because you guys did awake pretty early ish in the morning. We got a like Christmas morning to Ambrose. Yeah, you did so. Christmas morning Ambrose. So we'll say just. <laughs> a little afternoon. I got to. I have a dumb idea. Care to uh, share? Proceed! 
You asked me at the beginning if I was here to participate. I would like to. Okay. Okay. Look, <clears throat> my cat's lock is on. Okay. Hey. <laughs> I know the name of all three of your cats. I know where you live. I would like Nox to for you is dead to roll a religion check. Uh, I know that roll by heart. It's not bad. That's a 17. Let me double check, but uh, yeah, 17. So. Is Bless still up for shits and giggles? No, God, no. Kira Death <laughs> would lead you to the magic circle on the ground, um, and the people in the circle would part so you can enter, and she just basically stands you there and then, like, bows and steps back. Do you mimic what everyone else is doing, or do you want to do something different? I will mimic what they're doing. As you do, and you, like, raise your arms up and just focus on being a part of this group, basking in the red light casted by this perfect red sphere floating above your head, you do feel connected to everyone in the room almost as if your heartbeats are in sync with each other and i hope no one has fun with me <laughs> what shut the fuck up it feels comfortable the light is warm it is pleasant different from your it is just it's comforting it feels pure it feels right this fear like Kira Death said is perfect from centuries of participating in rituals and over time developing it this is what they've come up with it is simple but that's all they need they need something to symbolize the ultimate divine creator of this world, this universe that they live in. And all they need is to focus on it and be a part of this group that is the whole. They are one. They are together. and you feel just as connected. It's a different sort of connection to your own God, but it feels like a different sort of comfort. That's the best way I can describe it. I have so many things I wanna do right now. Do them. Balls to the wall! Go, redhead, go. <laughs> I want to take note of what the ritual circle looks like. Okay. Um. Even if you don't have, like, an exact description of it, I want it for personal use going forward. Okay. We'll just say, um by examining the, the magic circle and being a part of this ritual um, if you would like to try to recreate it in the future it can be done it's not a super complex like magic circle like there'd be one for like teleportation or something like that or another spell this one is is simple enough that anyone who would want to do this ritual could recreate it if they wanted to is it more like symbolic as opposed to Yes. Okay. Much like the sphere, it's symbolic. Mm -hmm. It is I don't know if we're on the same wavelength here yet. No. Okay. I have no idea. Come on. What does it look like? Come on. You're you're a part of the ritual, and you have the magic circle now in your head. So you're probably going to recreate it in the future. That's what I'm thinking. That's okay. about it. Yeah. 
Keith, what, what does that look like? What does what look like? He doesn't have the exact. I don't have a description. <laughs> it just looks like a magic circle. This one. A simplistic magic circle. Yeah. Yeah, I will participate in like an hour. No, half an hour. Okay. And then I will step out and take my leave. Very good. Ambrose his entire time would not participate, would stand back and just like watch. So, you would take your leave and head back to your party? Yeah. Um, 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 um. We've been talking about this whole time, guys. Um, I really should have gone over there. I mean, I'm, I'm like the whole harmonizing thing, but I'm also like the steak. Yeah, and but, I mean, also, like, it's not, uh, you know, it's. We've mm. never been here to mm-hmm. celebrate, mm-hmm. so we're we're taking part in that whole thing. And like you know, I, I mean, so I we know this. Me, God, <laughs> no matchy. Um, and so it's just no. There's no point. I was like, there's one, but it's kind of like a for, for like you know, after. It's more of a respect thing. Yeah, it's more for like the afterlife yeah. kind of situation, yeah. like for my tribe. I just don't give a fuck. Yeah. A weird group. I'm. Sure, they'll be around tomorrow, right? Uh, probably, uh, maybe. Uh, but I mean, the Daryl wind, so yeah. maybe if the hill sure. sheds some light, kind of situation. Right. I'll... Starting tomorrow. How, how starting tomorrow, time? getting back on task. <laughs> I've been distracted by. Hey, hey this is our break. Fancy clothes and No, hey, and it, it, this is my break. house. That it's a break. It's a break. We're having fun and they were bonding. We have been through so much shit in the last twenty-three days. Yeah. We need a fucking minute. Yeah. Like, fuck. <laughs> 23 days, dude. Yeah. 23 days. Oh, jeez. 23. That's not even a month, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> 23 days. Anyway. I was gonna say where the time went, but I've been scared shitless this whole time. Yeah. Every day feels so long. <laughs> Eva, we have been doing this so much, and I'm like, yeah. we can't catch a fucking break. So this is us snagging it. Yep. Yeah. Taking advantage of the opportunity to breathe. Back to business tomorrow. Yeah. New outfit, steak. I am sure that everything will go to hell tomorrow, just like usual. Mm-hmm. We're just being graced with a name. Yeah. So. And not to mention that a lot of people know our name, which is pretty fucking great. We're pretty cool. <laughs> We're celebrities. Mm-hmm. At least here we are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's kind. Of, that's kind of weird. Second time I, for me. I'm that's... not used to it. I've been oh, used to sticks and stones. It's you know, it's Coffee fine. Bones. It's what it's a weird feeling over here versus Iggy. It's mm, it's a much different vibe from uh from <laughs> what I you know my whole shtick. <laughs> So uh, I don't know exactly what the differences are going to be. I feel like maybe, at least for people who don't know who I am already, um, it'll be similar, just like, oh, hey, it's just you. Um, before it was, um, <laughs> it was, uh, a, it's, a bit, it's a bit different when it comes to uh, ditch digger shit. So, that's usually, if people do know who I am, uh, a problem. Because but now you're like known me. as Makashevol of the Rift Seekers. Which, hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, you know, like, if I need to, I, I mean, like, if, if we're in a situation where, you know, we're getting super fucked, just absolutely fucked, I could, you know, tap into it a little, just, you know, but, uh, It's cool to just be just a bunch of just a bunch of fellas, just a bunch of just a bunch of folk from all corners of the biosphere. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. All sorts of places. What are the odds? Right. <laughs> and then fucking Thimbleton noise. Yeah. That is a pole dunk hole in the ground village. 
And, and here we are. And to think that is where it all started. Right. 23 fucking days ago. I, the first thing I did was give you shit. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I did have quite the attitude because Dara did leave me in a crowded yeah. tavern all by myself. Yeah. I think, I don't remember exactly the first time that Dara gave me shit, but he has not stopped. And I don't know if that's a good sign or not. You poked the bear, you asked for it. Well, yes, but I mean, that didn't answer my question. If it's a good thing or not, that he's giving me shit. Does, does, does Dara like me? I, I, you know, I would, uh, I would say so. Okay. He, very much like the fatherly <laughs> type that gives his kids a lot of shit, but in like a very- It's a tough love. Like, very loving manner, yeah. though. If he views me like his child, I'm going to beat the fuck out of him. Yeah. Why? Like we are on even playing field. We are like, how even old is he? How old is Dara? You are just, younger than him, and he was status. married. It's kind of like the status that like older people have, where they look at someone younger and they go, "Ha ha ha, child." How old are you? <laughs> or man? How old are you? Hmm? Oh, what the fuck? I don't remember. Cool. Do you not have it? I have it. 26. Yeah, you're like 12 years younger than me. Oh. Uh, uh, 26. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, no, you're fine. 31. Okay. I'm I don't than both of you. <sighs> I don't feel like a creep when I was, I mean, when I did drink the other night. I'm so sorry. No. Just, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? What? I don't know. I was like, I was, I was like hanging off you and saying you reminded me a lot like your Tamil, and I just was like, ugh. I don't know what came over <laughs> me. I, I was drunk, but I'm. You should never have been with that. We're airing, <laughs> we're airing the laundry. Oh, we? Where's my laundry? Marosh, where's my laundry? Um... Are we having a right now? Where are my briefs? Are they dangling in the breeze? What? I'm so glad I'm not here. <laughs> so oh. I'm gonna go toss out this bone. Okay. Runs the fuck away. <laughs> Runs to the end. You know you can't! You can't leave me here alone! I don't think she'd toss out the orb bone. <laughs> Just let me know when I arrive. Go, go. Um, what? Go, go get our champ. Dara arrives. Sport. <laughs> You I just look at you, I just I am not You deserved it! What happened? You deserved it! No, 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 how much to splash my face and- Oh, it's, 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 it's a well Okay. <laughs> I'm walking up to some random lady. <laughs> How much? <laughs> <laughs> it's I would like to slightly jump up onto uh, Ornan's back a little bit, because I can't do this. So I just jump up oh and I'm like holding onto the side of him. Look at her over there. What the uh, fuck? She's- Oh, so embarrassing, am I right? What happened? Thoughts? Feelings? Can I just... Copy for your thoughts? Can I just decapitate him like no. right here? Right? Why no. not? No. Why not? I don't know. Please. You really want an answer as to why we can't decapitate our friend? Yes. That would be so sad. Yeah, oh, right oh, go cry me a fucking river. <laughs> oh, then. He's so mean to me, Daryl. I know. I thought we got past all of that weird glaive stuff from the first time we met. Me being a bitch, you being an edgelord, 
Yeah, I grab the cow <laughs> by like the scruff of his butt. I just shirt. latch onto your head, <laughs> just holding on. And I f- mm. like flip you over. <laughs> no, the fuck <laughs> you don't. No, the fuck you don't. What the fuck would that be? Acrobatics? <laughs> are we, grap- are we grap- contesting check. this? It's strength. It's it's Ornan's strength against your acrobatics or athletics. That's athletics against. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was so Keith. <laughs> I literally just went, what'd you roll? <laughs> oh, you, what, did, what did you get? I got a 12. And what was it? It was a 6 plus 6. Okay, Here's a string. <gasps> you hear your it's, neck pop. It's, it's like bull riding. Just <laughs> <laughs> You're pulling on this. <laughs> just hanging up. Ambrose! Ambrose! The Ambrose doesn't matter in this anymore. Please! Please! Ambrose, stay out of it. Please! I have no control over that one yeah. anymore. I'm gonna try again just to fucking flip him off. I'm gonna reach over and give <laughs> guidance to you. <laughs> hold, hold. Did we? 25. Hold, I, hold, oh. hold, 25. hold on. Yes? I'm trying to reach over and give you guidance. D4? Uh-huh. Just eat my ass. Again, wow. green bitch. <laughs> Again. <sighs> Guys. Fuck. Eat my ass. Guys. At this point, I am just belly Ooh. flush with ear. <laughs> like, legs <laughs> wrapped around his neck. I'm just holding. Go see, go see, go see. All right. Is there a river around here somewhere? Mm, no. God damn it. Unless you can jump real high, there's no drowning me, big boy. I'm just... Waddling back, hair wet, <laughs> face beat ass red. Oh, hey, Darren, what'd you learn? A lot. You mm. could just ask nicely. Looks like you experienced some shit too. Uh, this okay. you, uh, is, is the most chaotic please. scene please. in my head. Yeah, yeah just please. Say, uh, well, just, well, well, okay. just, just, I've, just say, yeah, you I've, found a dunking pool. And that's just... all we need to know. Well, get yourself out of this hole. You found mm-hmm. yourself a dunking pool and you let people play. Can I? I I need uh-huh. an illustration of just yeah. Macau wrapped around Ornan trying oh to fling God. him off with Mirage you know. standing as like sulking okay. with hair sopping wet, I can't yeah. fix beat mentally. red cheeks, <laughs> and then Ambrose and Darius yeah. be like, fine, everything's yeah. all... I'll I need that. that. Yeah, you're good. You're good. I need that. With like the festival going on and people yeah. are like... <laughs> <laughs> he, he asked me nicely to... He, aggressively whispered, he whisper screamed at me, can you get off please? And so I just did like a little and I get off. It was a, can you please fucking get off? He said please and everything. He's got manners. I'm so proud He's of him. He's growing up. <laughs> okay, well now. Uh. I mean, to be fair, we're out of festival events. Do we just mm-hmm. wait for like the last main event, which is the feast? I guess. We need really nothing else it's, going on. It's up to you guys to decide when you want to proceed, and that's when the main event happens. Yeah, there's like not the whole. Yeah, I was gonna say there's another I would main like event. To Did you get your stuff? Oh yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, um, I could not. I def- yeah. I've been so dis- I've just been so distressed. It should be driving. Ready to go. Ready to be born tomorrow. Nice. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, shit, I guess it's... we can just shoot the ship, walk around, enjoy the music and the stuff, and then... Oh, yeah. Wait. Wait. Uh, the I went to the uh, temple. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd that go? How was oh, your god shit. time? Um... Yeah, no, holy shit. That, that about covers it. Okay. He lays all in front I wish I was there. Jeez. Was it like, holy shit, that was some holy shit, or was it holy shit? Or was it just that holy one. shit? But more of the second one. Okay. Cool. There's a lot of stuff there that just doesn't. That Great. doesn't. It, yes. What do you mean? In general, the amount of knowledge they have is so minuscule. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, how really is it hard lot. to gather? It must be hard to gather information it is on in the basically creature impossible. that you have. Never He's really... never contacted anyone, bar one. Hmm. Uh, Selective. Well. Well. Faith and nothing else. Lothmanger Eretz, founder of Lothmanger. 
Uh-huh. One of his descendants decided, I'm going to choose myself. Ah. Uh. Walked up to it and touched it. Promptly went 100% psychotic. Yeah, let's worship that one. I should be quiet. Yeah. Yeah. I should be quiet. Wait, what? Uh, talking about how bullshit I think it is to uh, worship a being that does not connect with its followers very loudly on the day of a festival in honor of that fuck, probably not a good idea. It kind of does, actually. Good idea to talk about it? Huh? What? 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 I participated in the ritual. Oh. 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 And it does? Why why would you do that? Uh, Curiosity. Okay. Well, that's what what made the Anatos bitch go crazy, though. No. He said, I'm curious. And he touched the architect. Okay, fair point. Oh, why would you touch yourself? Why would you do that? No one knows. He has proclaimed the madman for a reason. (laughs) Uh, yeah, no, uh, he went completely bonkers. Uh, the council decided no, and they put him to sleep until he died. What the fuck is up with this council? They <laughs> they seek so chill. many fucking answers, yet when they get it, they shut it down? He was completely gone. Just like star coherent. Yeah. So like useless. Yeah. Uh. Whatever knowledge he might have had was Gonzo? unintelligible. Damn. That's why they did exactly what they did. As unfortunate as it is to have lost potential information, he wasn't going to be the one to be able to give it to us. That's weird. That's better. Well, I give exactly this many shits, so that's interesting. It but is. Good for you. I, I'm glad that you got the knowledge you were seeking. Um, I didn't. Okay. I wonder if Mother Serpent could fill in some gaps. Maybe. Yeah. Unlikely. If she was fucking paying attention, she's busy. It is. Oh, she is. So it's on that rift. Yep. Yeah, no. Uh, how much do you guys know about history in the Silent Rain? Mm, a little Not bit. Not a lot. Well, the entire reason the Silent Rain existed is because he showed up, and every single god went. What if we just stared him long enough and to see if he gives us answer? And then he left, and then no one. Wasn't there like answers. a super long time? A hundred years. And so everybody just collectively went. For a hundred years. All the gods there. And all of his worshippers. <laughs> Sorry, that's embarrassing. Yeah, no, it was not a good time. No one I, having uh, enough balls to ask any fucking questions while he was here? I can't imagine. He was asleep. The, no one could try, could get a hold of him. Crush? The ego crush that gods might have felt waiting for a hundred years and then not getting anything. And they're like, well, God, we were so cool. Whoa. I mean, to be fair. <clears throat> In the course of the entirety of that, it's not that long. I mean, I guess it depends. For gods, they, it's probably like, oh, that's maybe like an hour. I wouldn't say an hour. It's more akin to maybe a year. Well, yeah, I just mean like in the grand scheme of things, because of how long lived they are. Mm-hmm. It's nothing in the grand scheme. Exactly. So, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. We're okay. on the same page. Mm. Then, well, God stuff, right? God stuff. That. Yeah, no, I think that's an accurate description for just about how everyone feels trying to understand the architect. That's uh, outside of my pay grade, and I'm not getting paid. So. The temple was ominous. It glowed red. Mm. Yeah. I don't I like that. that. What a nice... It's the color of passion. Um, and I guess they're very passionate. To not get anything and then... You know. Anyway. Interesting. Yeah. So now we just walk around and wait for the feast? Yeah. Yeah, no, we'll wait for the final event. <gasps> Alright, so, as you guys are sitting down and talking, feasting, at some point, well, the... Good push. Thank you. Actually, 
wasn't even aware. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Another time for good luck. That's but the goodest luck. That is the goodest, goodest luck. <sighs> the stone. They manifest better in the box. I thought that's that was music coming on. I was like, why are Bats. we in Starfinder? I was like, what the fuck? Bats. Why are we in Starfinder? That's it. So. Hey, what the fuck? Hey guys, open doors. <laughs> <laughs> that. Hey, I would flip the table. Um, <laughs> yeah. I would I was like, yeah. No, that's it. Sorry. <laughs> As you guys are sitting down and feasting, um, you would hear someone um, with like this booming, echoing voice. It just like covers all of the town. Uh, You hear someone announce the main event, the high driver race. You hear him uh, name off all of the uh, people participating in the race, uh, different like previous champions of the race, um, newcomers, and they would do this little performance of their high drivers racing overhead, stopping, uh, giving a like a brief bow or like a wave. Um, all of these high drivers are either like different colors, their saddles are designed for like speed. So the the people who are riding them are really like pressed down against their high driver. Oh, yeah. um, they are all wearing like sleek armor, almost think of like, uh, like a, what a swimmer would wear, but mm-hmm. it's armor. So it's like oh, yeah. designed to be aerodynamic. Like, armor. Yeah, like riding leather, mm-hmm. like. Real yes, thin. yes, yes. I was thinking yeah. bobsled. Uh, yeah, kind of like that. Um, and the high drivers themselves are also um, lightly adorned with other like bits of armor that try to make it more aerodynamic. Um, so they would all like appear again, do a brief bow or wave before racing off to the starting line. Um, you would hear people cheer and clap, and then like a brief silence like falls over the crowd before you see a firework just They begin racing above rooftops all around Sky Xanus. You see them go up over, um, not over, but just beneath the Underwisp. You see them fly overhead, dive down, and they're just performing all these maneuvers around Sky Xanus. It is uh, energetic. The crowd is going wild. It is just all around a really good time. As you guys are like looking overhead, you see them uh, come around like the edge of town before they all race overhead. You see the shadows of them. And then as you are looking up, looking at the high drivers racing overhead, just as the last one passes over, a stream of golden light, bright, just appears. The strand of heavenly golden light streams from the sky above and it closes in around the rift. You see another strand in a different direction and another one on the far side of the rift. They close in and begin swirling, creating this magnificent spiral of light. And that's when you hear it an earth-shattering crackle that comes from the rift. Clouds disperse as a shockwave forces them away. Lightning is seen shooting from the rift, and shattered form begins to open like a portal. You hear a low, rumbling groan echo out as a gargantuan Red Claw. (laughs) Reaches out through the portal. Its gnarled claws stretch out to an impossible length. And then, in a flash of light, you all find yourself 
in an unfamiliar location with the feeling of something watching over you. And that's where we're going to end the session. No! And so, his return was close at hand. However, the fragmented rift has halted the architect from crossing over. Now, our adventurers swept the competition in each event held in the town. It seemed nobody stood a chance against their will to become victorious. Our dearest Dara also found his way into a temple where he found a group of worshippers that followed the architect. He saw them praising a red sphere they claimed to be perfect, like their deity. To Dara, it was strange that they followed a god who has no connection to them, nor do they have any connection to him. Though this difference in religion intrigued Dara, enough so that he participated in their communion. Now, after seeing the Red Being's hand enter the world for the first time in 100 years, what will happen next? Well, that's all I have for you today. If you want more, why not consider joining our Discord? There you can talk to the players of the campaign and be a part of our lovely community. Thank you again for listening, dear friend. And goodbye for now. Fuck you! <laughs> Damn! I just have to sit on this for a week. You are such a we bitch! We were going to continue, but since you guys did a lot more stuff during the festival, <laughs> we will have to continue next week. It, no, please! It, our please plan don't. backfired! Our plan backfired! <laughs> I totally did! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right! You guys are like, we're gonna make this the longest day! I'm like, well, alright! All right. I want to die. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs>